Committee, Mr. Sher Nihbi, Mr. Kamel Bashir, Mrs. Lama Atwi, and Mrs. Camilla, me, speaker. Um, today's session is actually a special event focused on the topic of creative writing. Um, this is because both teachers and students are facing many challenges related to writing. Well, actually, we want to focus on, on, on that, but rather on strategies used by innovative teachers, strategies they use to motivate and inspire their students, students who can't or don't want to write. Well, um, you will be listening to um, four or I guess five speakers telling us about their experience. They are Mrs. Asma Majdi, Mrs. Reem Ben Salem, Mrs. Dora Ben Arfan, Mrs. Noha Damak, and Mrs. Tamar Dridi. We will present each speaker um, later. Okay. Um, before we start, um, let me share with you some recommendations. Okay. For um, the uh, the attendees, first, uh, please mute your mics during the presentations and um, use the chat box for any question or comment you have. Um, you will have 10 minutes to ask questions after the speaker finishes presenting. And by the end of the meeting, you will have a link to um, a quiz that you will need to answer um, to get your attendance certificate. Okay. For our speakers, let me tell you that, or just remind you that um, you have 20 minutes to present your work, and then you will have 10 minutes to listen to um, questions and by participants and answer them. Okay. Um, something else is um, that um, a recorded version of this event will be available and that there is a live streaming right now on Facebook via StreamYard. Okay, so uh, for those of you just join us, welcome. I leave the floor to Mr. Habib or Mr. Kamel to introduce our first speaker, Mrs. Asma Majdi. Okay, okay. Uh, there you are. Go, go ahead, Mr. Uh, Kamel Sheikh. Okay. Thank you very much for the presentation. Thank you uh, all for joining us tonight in this uh, special session. Now, I'm glad to introduce Mrs. Asma Majdi. It's a pleasure to know her uh, during this uh, session tonight. Um, Mrs. Majdi is a Tunisian teacher of English currently based in Qatar. She is a talented writer who has published many poems in international anthologies, magazines, and specialized websites. So uh, in her presentation tonight, she will share with us a few tips on how to teach creative writing in the EFL class. So uh, over to you, Mrs. Majdi, and good luck. Thank you, Mrs. Kamal. So first of all, I want to begin by um, welcoming everyone and extending my thanks to all of you, uh, Mrs. Lemma, Mrs. Camilla, Mrs. Kamal, and everyone else who's here tonight. Um, so may I uh, share my presentation? Yes, please do. Just a reminder to people who uh, have just joined us. Uh -huh. Could you just mute your microphones, please, if you don't mind? To avoid any kind of disturbance. Go ahead with uh, sharing your presentation. Yeah. Okay, okay thank it's you, loading. Mr. Kavan. Here we go. Uh, so oh. the title of my presentation is uh, How to Teach Creative Writing. Um, I'm just presenting uh, some steps to get the uh, students wordsmithing. Okay. So, uh, first of all, um, something about me. Uh, I am Mrs. Asma Omar Majidi, a Tunisian EFL teacher with 18 years of experience, so which in uh, here in Qatar. I'm a proud mom of three, a published poet and writer. I'm also a voracious reader, a logophile, I'm a, a photographer, and also a cat lover. So um, many people would ask me, uh, why am I a writer? Uh, well, uh, that's a pretty tough question. I write because 
uh, it's, it's, it has always been uh, my passion. And believe it or not, the, um, the person who ignited was a teacher, in fact. So uh, here you can see how powerful uh, we are when we uh, inspire our students. Uh, and I think that we all as teachers, we are a mission. So what happened when I was at uh, in the 11th grade, my English teacher, he told me that I wrote with voice. And uh, at first I got like, what is voice? I didn't know what it is, but then it stuck with me. And his comment was like this a weird but positive endearment that set me forth on this path. And I became this uh, kid who was obsessing over writing and devouring books, writing poems and songs and everything. And uh, it grew up with me, in fact. And uh, here I am today. Uh, I'm working, I'm currently working on a, a book, uh, 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 sorry, a poetry collection and a novel. Uh, so let's get started. This is the uh, introduction. Uh, the necessity of creative writing. Why is it important to teach creative writing? So here, uh, according to Topkins, 1982, he suggested uh, seven reasons why children and teens should write stories or should involve, get involved in uh, creative writing. First, it, it, for, to entertain. Second, to foster artistic expression, to explore the functions and values uh, of writing, of course, uh, to stimulate image, imagination, uh, to clarify thinking, to search for identity, to learn to read and write, and most importantly here, while writing certainly, certainly should be enjoyable and students should be, have opportunities to choose their own subjects and methods of writing, the importance of creative writing and developing children's and teens' cognitive and communication skills cannot be underestimated. And I do believe that we should really work towards uh, incorporating writing or creative writing and the curriculum because in this way, we are giving voice to students. We are setting them free in a way. OK, so uh, here are some of uh, the commands that we can have from our students. I don't have any ideas. I can't think of anything or how to start or I hate writing. I hear this all the time. And it gets me really upset because I know uh, that uh, for uh, students, sometimes um, they grumble about writing because they think it's it's really daunting and overwhelming and scary somehow. So uh, while we see creative writing as a word of limitless imagination, our students, in fact, they see it as an overwhelming desert of no idea. They don't know how to start, OK? And they think that they cannot write. but it's, it's totally the opposite. When you teach creative writing effectively, you will notice that every student is just brimming over with ideas that just have to get out. They have potential. And they are like these pearls that we have to dig out out of their shells. So uh, here I am going to uh, share with you some of the um, methods I really found effective and some of the methods uh, that are on my to-do list. So here I'm coaching. Excuse me, Mrs. Maji. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I cannot see your presentation. Uh, it's not, uh, you don't see it? I don't know the other. Um, can, you, can you, Mrs. Atwi, can you repeat? Because I think no, we couldn't hear you. Are okay, they are there. They are. It's fine. Can't see this chair. Can't see this chair. Maybe it's just you. The it is there. Maybe it's, it's just okay you. Okay, for the presentation, it's yeah. okay. Go ahead, Mrs. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry, okay. Mr. Okay. So here uh, I'm quoting Marquis Buffon. The distance is nothing. It's only the first step that is difficult. So here I'm starting with the first uh, thing. I really think it's so important, which is reading. Reading is fundamental. A good reader is a good writer. And I don't think that anyone doubt, doubts this. And uh, I think we should uh, really encourage our students to read more. Because unfortunately today we are seeing less and less readers and uh, I do believe that this affects uh, the writing quality in a really unfortunate way. 
So uh, why is reading important? Because reading exposes uh, the, the students to other styles, other voices, other forms and genres of writing, and uh, it exposes them to writing that's better than their own. And in a way, it helps them to improve. Also, it helps students make connections to their own experiences and emotions. So reading makes them better writers and better communicators. This leads us to the next method. Uh, the next is starting with the love for words and the sound of words. And creative writing at all grade levels can be encouraged through the uh, use of activities that they require creative thinking, in activities that focus on developing a love for words, like having fun with words. And here, uh, this works uh, really um, beautifully with uh, 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 elementary school with high school and personally I use this with my uh, students. I teach 11th grade and uh, this is one of the activities I do uh, with them which is share lists of words that rhyme or start with the same have the same middle sound etc. Second one complete the similes read as or soft as. Next one we have complete descriptive uh, phrases to expand them using description and another one make a pear okay or a pear uh, pear tree uh, the fruit are pairs of homonyms uh, the next one we have to embrace the social media i have worked in this and uh, it did really wonders with the students writing um let's face it most of our students they love social media and they are so invested in uh, technology instead of fighting it OK, we better embrace it and incorporate it in a social a school appropriate way. Here, uh, here is how there are several ways you can inspire creative writing, tapping into social media. One way is to prompt your students to write like series of fictional posts, uh, whether they uh, they are on Snap, Instagram or Facebook and tell a story. It can be something it can range from like a four uh, line paragraph or posts or comment to uh, whole essays or whole stories. And I think this is very good. You can do it either uh, online or uh, on spot in, in class using paper and pen or just uh, through word processing documents or tools. Uh, the next one is word maps and pre-writings. I do believe that word maps and pre-writing strategies are so important but unfortunately so many teachers they tend to neglect this because we don't have much time especially at the beginning of the uh, at the end of the lesson so uh, writing uh, war maps provide structure for thinking about the writing task uh, and they are so um, effective because they allow students to see what their discussed ideas look like on paper and also it helps them uh, fix the I don't know how to start problem which we all face on daily basis when dealing with writing also uh, it really helps them warm up those writing muscles uh, that has be that have been dormant for uh, for long okay and pre-writing strategies they are very good like clustering brainstorming listing pre-writing looping uh, drawing conferencing the more the merrier why because uh, give the students the opportunity to uh, explore the ways and the uh, strategies that best fit their needs uh, and that they uh, really intrigue them so here we have free writing uh, I, I love this one because i give my students like five to ten minutes to dump all their ideas at once for the prompt we have uh, to uh, write about into the page without worrying about structure and spelling or grammar because after five minutes you will notice that they you will notice they are starting to write and they are starting to find a rhythm and to get into the groove of uh, writing you don't want to interrupt this okay this is like warming up for the real thing uh, writing prompts uh, this is a good one because while students have have some uh, have full ideas and we're just being forced uh, and to, uh, to write about an assigned topic. Most of them, they appreciate the nudge that an interesting or humorous writing prompt offers. 
don't expect every prompt to appeal to your students. And uh, this is a very uh, big point here. Uh, you don't want to force them into writing. And since writing prompts are merely, uh, merely uh, starting points, allow them to tweak the prompt to their own liking. Allow them to see it from different angles. Don't force your uh, vision on your students. One prompt can um, even be a springboard to a completely different writing topic or story altogether. And for writing prompts, we have online writing prompts generators and they do magic, really. Uh, next, we have story starters. Again, all our students need something to begin, uh, sometimes to begin with uh, begin a creative writing project and it, with a gentle nudge or a push in the right direction. While prompts offer a topic uh, or ask a question, uh, story starters actually they put uh, the our students on the right path. They provide the first sentence, the much dreaded uh, first sentence, and they do make great uh, warming up and help avoid the blank page panic, which uh, unfortunately many students uh, suffer from. Now let's move to uh, this one. This is actually one of my favorite, the grammar dice. Okay, what? Uh, how does this work? Okay. Uh, uh, about it, it's a very uh, effective uh, classroom game. Uh, it makes it uh, really fun to write. It creates a stress-free, countable environment. It is good for every level and gives plenty uh, of room for differentiated instruction, like uh, the process, content, and project level. It, it is scaffoldable and very engaging. It encourages produ producing fun and crazy sentences at times, and it enables students to get over that hindering effective filter, and so they forget that they are learning and loosen up and remember they are playing a game. So uh, how does this work? But first, uh, what do you need for grammar dice? You will need first, uh, you will need three dice. The first die is a four, uh, four face or four side die uh, for numbers from one to four. The second one is uh, a 20 face die uh, or 20 side die for consonant. And the last one is a four uh, or sorry, six die for vowels. How does it work? So you uh, have to divide your students into groups and sit them in heterogeneous groups. OK, mixed ability groups, groups. Each group with a set of three dice. They take turns in rolling the three dice, the consonant die first, then the vowel, and the last one would be the uh, number die. Uh, they see what comes up each time and make a sentence. For example, they got the consonant M, the vowel A, and the number three. They had to write a sentence using three words with M and A in them. Okay, so it's better to model the first sentence with your students. Uh, this way, allowing uh, the uh, low uh, achieving students to uh, really get involved and you need to allocate the needed time and the number of rounds uh, as well. So later, the students, they present or display their sentences and together with the teacher, they spot, they compare and contrast their final products and also they spot the strength and the weakness points. And I think this is a very good way to start because in writing, you have to start small. Word level, sentence level, paragraph level, and you have the whole product at the end. Now, uh, also one of my favorites is the spice that sentence up, okay? Here you teach students how to turn boring sentences into exciting one using strong adjectives and strong verbs. Uh, this has been one of my favorite, by the way, even for my students. It, 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 we had really a blast the last time we used it. Like take a sentence like she had lunch. <laughs> turn it into <laughs> the headstrong <laughs> act of uh, insisting. Uh, sorry, could you mute your uh, background noise? Uh, sorry to interrupt, uh, Mrs. Majdi. Uh, could you uh, mute your uh, microphone? Wasila al Umri, I guess. This is Mrs. Wasila, yes, please. Okay. Hello, Mrs. Okay. So, uh, sorry, Mr. Rahib, I can't hear anything. The voice is not clear. Should I uh, carry on? Who is speaking? Sorry. It's Miss Neja, Mr. Rahib. Okay, you couldn't hear, you said? Yes. 
Um, okay, it's, I, I think it's better now. Go ahead, Mrs. Majdi. Okay, so here you take a plain basic sentence, a three word sentence like she had lunch, for example, and turn it into something like that. Uh, the headstrong acrobat insisting given slurping her spaghetti upside down. You see here uh, the not only uh, the imagination of your student at work, but also you see fluency, you see a lot of elements. OK, together and uh, make up lots of sentences and expand them together. And I found this exercise to be really, really good uh, because it also helps students um, revise, recycle uh, the uh, vocabulary they have uh, last seen. Uh, I think this is uh, also a great tool to uh, start small and then expand. Uh, the next one is uh what do we do as teachers it's the last one uh, teachers as guide advisors and facilitators we should ignite students intellectual uh, intellectual curiosity uh, because great writing begins with deep thinking ask them questions that really challenge their um, intellect okay because don't underestimate your students because sometimes they will really stun you with how much they know uh next one strong writing routines. This is very important to creative writing. If you don't establish creative routines, um, you won't have uh, really good writers at the end. Next one, give targeted and timely feedback. This is so important because sometimes we tend to um, overlook this. Feedback should be timely right after um, the uh, activity, OK, or shortly after it, not like uh, you remember it after days or uh, after a long time that doesn't work and it should be targeted. It means it should be tailored according to each student's needs when it comes to writing um, uh, weaknesses and also strength because it should be constructive. Next one provide scaffolded frameworks of support, especially for struggling writers. You should uh, plan a remedial um, uh, remedial work or remedial, uh, you should uh, de design remedial, remedial plans that really work to fit uh, uh, their needs. Uh, next one we have show students exemplary writing and ask them to emulate it, not only imitate it. OK, we should uh, encourage them to do like the uh, mentor uh, text we are uh, displaying or the model writing we are displaying or uh, we are using uh, to uh, as a model. OK, next one, uh, create clear and detailed rubrics and checklist checklist. Sorry, this is so important because uh, we tend to um, keep this for ourselves. OK, the rubrics we use for uh, assessing our students writing, share them with your students, show them how do you really assess and dissect their products so that they really know why are they assessed and for what they are assessed? Thank you so much for everyone for your attention. Thank you, thank you. That's great. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mrs. Asma. Yeah. I highly appreciate the presentation. My it's pleasure, so my pleasure. I'm so sorry. So I, I, I'm losing my voice sometimes because it, it's been a really tiring day. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's okay. That was perfect. It was fine. Yeah. My pleasure, my pleasure. So if anyone has any question, I'm more than willing to answer. Yes, please. Again, thank so, you for yeah. this insightful presentation. Now we'll give some time for our colleagues, for the attendees to ask some questions. OK, we have. Yeah, I see that Sarah uh, Jaidan is raising yeah. her hand. Is so Sarah, hand. you can start. Sarah, yes, can you hear me, please? OK, then, Mrs. Samiha. Yeah. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Who yeah. is yes, speaking? Sorry. Thank you very I much. I, I think Mrs. Sarah, you speaker, can sorry. go ahead. Yes, thank you very much for the presentation. Uh, there were many interesting ideas, especially changing the boring sentence 
into an exciting yes. one. Um, so I think it will, it will work. Um, I like it also, uh, the idea of um, uh, the, the start, how we make the students start and modeling them with uh, yes. uh, certain types of writing. So the, and also sharing the rubrics is essential because the exactly. rubrics yes. uh, will show the students what is expected exactly from them. So uh, it should be, and also I would like to add, uh, writing is a practice. So we need to provide our students exactly. with more opportunities to yeah. write. That's practice, why we have practice, to, uh, practice. To encourage them to have, yeah, we encourage them to have these writing routines, not only yeah. inside school, outside of school as well. Yeah, and uh, the more they practice with the and they are handed with the rubrics, so we uh -huh. we encourage them to correct themselves, their exactly. errors, and improve, and that's how we get real good results. Thank you very much. I appreciate you, your Sarah. collaboration. Thank you. My pleasure. Okay. Uh, good, Mrs. Sarah. Uh, just one question. I I was expecting that you showed us more strategies um, of teaching writing that is our students really um, besides of not having enough time for practice need strategies structured strategies to know how to write because they are lost from the beginning not because they are not put on the spot we need them to be on so um, if you like uh, that is i mean um, uh, structure, charts, things, yes. because not all the students perform the same way, not all of them uh -huh. have the same imagination, so they need yes. to be more structured with the strategies. Thank you yeah, very much. Very, thank you, Mr. Sare, yes, thank you. Uh, okay. Thank you, Mr. Uh, uh, some of the activities. Yeah, okay, go ahead, Sil Habib, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Uh, Jaiden. I think we still have two uh, other participants who raised their hands, Mrs. Ulfa Suisi and Mrs. Samiha. Uh, are you there? Mrs. Ulfa? I'm here. Mrs. Ulfa? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, your question or your command? Yes. Sir. Um, thank you very much for organizing uh, uh, such form. And uh, I'd like to uh, congratulate um, I'm sorry, but your voice is very low, and there are... So maybe, maybe you could move on to another one, to another... Yeah, we uh, might have lost yeah. Mrs. Ulfa. Uh, yeah. Move on to the yeah. third one, please, third question. So, any, yes. any more questions? So... Yeah. Yes, uh, Mrs. Uh, Sami Mrs. Samiha, uh, I think. Are you are you there? Evening. Or Mrs. Olfa Swiss? Or Mrs. Olfa Swiss? Back to Olfa Silahbib. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Back to Olfa, then we'll get back to Samiha. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, I thank my colleague for uh, um, giving the attention to uh, targeted and timely feedback. That's very important to uh, focus on the weaknesses of each student's needs and uh, give uh, um, feedback, uh, uh, prompt feedback uh, for a better uh, practice of writing. But uh, I would like to ask her how a good reader is necessarily a good writer. She said that in her uh, uh, presentation. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Alfa. So uh, this is this is relative. It's not like final, uh, but uh, reading is, uh, and I, I do believe this is my opinion, of course, uh, and it's personal. Uh, it's always uh, subjective. Uh, from my experience, I uh, I think that uh, writing and reading they are interrelated, uh, and when you read. 
you are not only building this uh, vocabulary reservoir, okay, and uh, reading skills, um, you are also building writing skills because when you uh, write, when you read, you are expanding your imagination. You are yeah. expanding your cognitive uh, skills as well. The effective side, the psychological side, and uh, these sides you really need to become a better writer. Yes, I, okay, I do. Good. Even yes. the flow, uh, the flow of the sentences, the rhythm inside the sentence, uh, the sentences, uh, the punctuation, the spelling. And uh, from my experience, I have uh, noticed that the best uh, students at writing are those who read a lot. Good, yes. Yes, OK, 90% of the time, 90% of the time, at least you are a, 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 a writer by nature, OK? But 90% of the time, from my experience, uh, the best writers are, are already readers. I have okay. like today, uh, one of my students, my 10th grade student, she published a book in English. Wow, congratulations. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the for both of you. Uh, another question, please. Siri, do you remember who the, the yeah, last maybe, person was? Yeah, maybe. Yes, Mrs. Mrs. Samiha. Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, who Samiha. 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 Yeah. Good evening. I, I guess Samiha. Okay. Yes. Good Hello. evening. Hi, good evening. Good, good evening. evening. Hi, I would like yeah, to morning. start from the point that Mrs. Lamem stopped at which is reading as a beginning point of uh, creative writing in fact uh, i would like to share with you our experience that uh, it was about the uh, original writing contest that we have done uh, together as an uh, english teachers team uh, and uh, which was based on reading stories first uh, the students were asked to read a set of stories given stories and then and the, during the contest, they were asked to questions like to um, write uh, new endings or change some parts of the stories, uh, yeah. work on changing the elements of the stories like setting or characters. And yeah. the, the experience um, was really uh, enjoyable because uh, we have discovered that uh, uh, pupils, when they read, when pupils read, they uh, can be more creative, as Mrs. Lama said. And, uh, basing their uh, reading, writing skills on reading skills, it's very uh, successful and fruitful, in fact. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Good. Yeah. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me. Uh, any any yeah, more comments okay. thank or you for the more question, questions? For the comments. Yeah, yes, yeah Mr. Kamel, Mr. Kamel go, go ahead, please. Now, if you don't mind, just a few seconds to ask uh, Mrs. Uh, uh, Esma a question about context her context in qatar do you use textbooks in qatar asma yes I, yeah yeah we have a student book and we have a workbook so uh, and, uh now i, I have, have a, oh, sorry concerning the writing uh we have also a reading program the reading program is uh, uh done throughout the year uh, the students, they uh, have to read this uh, culture appropriate uh, English work of art, uh, sorry, English liter literature art, uh, work of art. And um, the last year we have the Enchanted Castle. They have oh, okay. to do uh, so many work uh, on this like book report, um, uh, imagining another end to the story, writing from a different uh, different po pov it means using uh, a different point of view other than the one uh, used in the uh, in the story uh, uh, tell the story from the point of view of a minor character or from the antagonist uh, point of view so it was really uh, amazing because we had received uh, um, a variety of work from uh, all uh, uh, student level from high achievers, from average achievers, from low achievers, because the assignments uh, in themselves, they were tailored according to their uh, needs and, the, and their uh, uh, also multiple intelligences. We have, uh, uh, can, yeah, we have really uh, some uh, students who were amazing uh, uh, at drawing and painting, and we asked them to uh, represent some scenes from the book uh, through drawing. 
and we have someone who prepared a mural. Imagine it was it was uh, really so, uh, something uh, big. And uh, also we have uh, to cover some uh, um, creative writing points. Like in the first term, our students have to uh, write a story. So we taught them the uh, story elements. We, told, we uh, taught them the narrative techniques. We taught like POV, uh, uh, description, uh, figure, uh, figure of speech, uh, and so many things. And also we taught, we, uh, taught them the uh, elements of story like plot, uh, 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 falling action, uh, um, rising action, the climax, and so on. So here we are preparing them uh, from uh, f to be to uh, be uh, create uh, to write creatively um, in in so many ways. And uh, by the way, uh, uh, I wanted to uh, to uh, take a photo of this, but I couldn't have time because I was super busy. And they workbook. They already have the rubric. Yeah, please. And, we have a Facebook group. You can share yes. any uh, my pleasure. Any, any work you want to, and, uh, to, to uh, share. With the rubric, our okay? They have a checklist, so they are going to assess their own writing, and I okay, find this. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Just for the sake of time, maybe. Yeah. What do you think, colleagues? If we uh, give a chance to another Muhammad? question. Yeah. Oh, we we, we finish. Yeah, uh, Camilia, Camilia, I, 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 I hope that I pronounced you. Uh, Mr. Mohammed. Mohammed Bushadak, you can uh, go ahead and ask your question or make a comment. Well, I guess he's not available. He may write the question in the chat box. Okay. Yes, sure. All right, okay. we can move Over on. to you, Camelia, please go ahead. Yeah, he's, he's ready. I think he's ready. So uh, let's give him a chance. So, Mr. Okay. Mohamed Bouchadab. Yes, uh, can you hear me? Yeah, we can. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Very Mohamed. well. Okay. Go ahead. go ahead and ask your question or give us your command. Yes. Uh, uh, it's nice webinar. I want to thank uh, uh, our, uh, our colleague. Uh, Yes, for the for this good uh, presentation, I have just two uh, two remarks uh, concerning teaching writing. We as teachers, we have I think uh, nowadays we have two challenges. Uh, uh, the first one is is how uh, is that we should teach uh, our learners. Uh, I think I think uh, authentic tasks because we uh, and the textbooks we are using. Uh, I think we don't have many uh, authentic tasks, tasks which are, uh, are used uh, often by by pupils in their in their, their in their uh, everyday life. For example, some uh, how to uh, to interact in the social media, as our colleague uh, said, and then how to uh, how to write some blogs, some text messages, uh, etc. So this is uh, my first uh, uh, concern. The second one is. Uh, uh, how to teach uh, writing uh, as a process. I think the time that we have in the classroom uh, so uh, uh, often uh, is not enough to teach the different yeah, parts really of the, yes. the different uh, stages of writing. So sometimes we are obliged to teach uh, just to, uh, the first stage, which is the warm up, the pre writing, and then uh, which which was, uh, and then the second one, which is writing the first draft. So we cannot teach uh, uh, so the different the different parts. So uh, I, I I ask the question to to everybody. Do you uh, agree with me that uh, we have to uh, to concentrate on tasks which are very brief? And uh, what matters is that we deal with uh, with tasks which are uh, authentic, which are related to uh, our learners' uh, everyday uh, habit, everyday life. And then we can deal uh, so just with uh, one one part, or one stage, or, or two stages of the writing process. See, Mohammed. Yes. Okay. Thank you now for your interaction, Thank See, Mohammed. That's that's pretty clear. Now uh, I'll I'll just give a chance to our speaker to react to your questions and uh, uh, the points that you have raised. And if you remember, I asked her about 
uh, the use or the context in Qatar, and she said that they are using textbooks. And this is actually a, a great challenge. And I wanted to get uh, an answer from her. What is your tip to teachers who, or to a con teachers who are in a textbook-driven context? And and you are absolutely right about those challenges. Uh, Mrs. Asma, you can just uh, react if you want. Uh, sorry, Mrs. Kamal, C could you please repeat the question? Because uh, no, the it's it's uh, related to uh -huh. yeah, uh, it's related to what uh, see Muhammad has just uh, said about the challenges that face teachers about authentic materials, teaching, writing as a process, etc. I said teachers in in Tunisia struggle with time here because it's a textbook driven context. Yes. So what do you advise them to do, actually, in relation to these is issues and challenges? OK, so uh, believe it or not, we have less time here in Qatar. We have 45 minutes per session. Not, on, not one hour. OK. So I think we have to approach uh, the, uh, the curriculum in a very, very clever way. Uh, and that, uh, and this is uh, uh, not, uh, this is really mm -hmm. subjective because it depends on uh, you, the level of your students. It depends on the topic and it depends on so many uh, things because um, here, I don't know, but uh, the, uh, the title of the event is creative writing. I don't know uh, if uh, some of my colleagues are mixing uh, the uh, writing as writing and creative writing because creative writing it involves uh, story, it involves narrative, poetry, slams, um, and so on. It, it's totally different from uh, uh, writing academically. So it is. It is just in simple words. It's going beyond the classroom space. Yeah, right? absolutely. We have to. Why? Because it's bigger than uh, academic writing. It's really bigger and uh, we are here. We are enabling students to have a voice. This is uh, not only helping them to thrive academically, but personally. OK, thank you. you are the Over to you, Mrs. Camelia. Yeah, and Silah Bib. Yeah, I think it's time. Uh, thank you, Camelia. I think it's time to move on to our second speaker, uh, Mrs. Reem Ben Salem. Are you there? Yes, please. Hello, Mrs. Reem. If Mrs. Ben Salem is not ready, maybe Mrs. Reem, can, can you can you hear us? Yeah, Mrs. A uh, Mrs. Atwi. Maybe maybe she needs to unmute herself. So, can you unmute your microphone, Mrs. Reem Ben Salem? Otherwise, I'm going to look through uh, the list and. See if uh, she's here. She's with us. She's with us. Hello. Hello. Uh, she's unmuted. Microphone. So let me oh, okay. just check that her name is already in the list. Uh, I think I. Yeah, yeah it's her. there. There. She yeah, there, I but think she's a couple of minutes microphone. ago. Um, she needs. To, uh, she's there, uh, Sikandet, she's speaking. She's there. Yeah, I think yeah, she's there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure that she's still with us. Uh, mm. so maybe I Mrs. Camilla, can you she was there. Yeah. Reem? Mrs. Reem, please, can you unmute your microphone? Can you see her you click name? on the icon of the microphone? Yeah, yeah, she's here. Yeah, she's in the list of the attendees. I can see her. Just give her a second, please. Yeah, in the meantime, uh, in the meantime, let's welcome our colleague, Mrs. Naima Sharfi, who is uh, with us. So maybe uh, it's an opportunity. Oh, hi, Mrs. Naima. Hello, Hello. Mrs. Naima. Hi, everybody. 
Yes. Hello. Hi. She she was writing things in the Thank chat. Thank you for joining us. Um, Mrs. Sharfi uh, is, yeah, Mrs. Sharfi is Mrs. Name. Zareen Ben Salem uh, teacher with you? She was, yeah. She was a while ago, I could hear her. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe um, we could move on to our next speaker and Sorry? until she gets ready, maybe, and uh, what do you go think? Back to yeah, okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. We'll go back yeah, to yeah. her, sure. yeah. The next so, speaker. Mrs. Dora Ben Arfa, are you there? I'm I'm here. Great. Is this so, Mrs. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. Yes. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Sorry. Dora, Sorry. Dora or Reem. Yes, Dora. 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 Yes. Dora. Yes. Dora. Yes. Dora. Yes. Dora. Okay, so okay. let's get back to Reem, please. Okay. Yeah. Hang on a second. Okay. okay. Just a second. Back to Reem, okay, please. So welcome, good luck. Yes, good luck, but uh, I can't see my, uh, oh, I, I, can't, I can't see my presentation. Mr. Ahim, would you please to introduce Mr. Reem? Yeah, Mr. it's my Ahim? pleasure. So, uh, Mrs. Yes. Reem Ben Salem uh, yes. is an EFL teacher with a teaching experience spanning more than 20 years. She ran different clubs and took part in many national and international events revolving around integrating music and theater in teaching English. Um, Mrs. Ben Salem and two of her students will share their experience with creative writing and other activities uh, within their club. Over to you, Mrs. Ben Salem. Wish you the best of luck. Uh, thank you. Good evening, everybody. Glad to be with you. I'm here just to let you know about my experience. I'm uh, going to, to speak about uh, uh, how creative pupils can be and what we have achieved during more than uh, five years. Well, my achievement, uh, which I like most, is, uh, of course, it's not my, uh, achieve, uh, my achievement alone, it's uh, my pupils, because without them, I uh, could not uh, have achieved anything. Okay, it's a, a, a scholar gift club. Okay, so I just uh, want to give you an idea about uh, the club. Okay, it's a school charity, a school charity uh, that uh, saw light in uh, 2017. The idea of creating charity came when I was teaching ninth graders, okay, a lesson in module six civility. It's entitled the, the clubs, associations, and charities. And I was impressed by the idea that the teenagers, uh, uh, that means aged uh, students aged 13, 14, and 15, were able to uh, uh, give a hand, to uh, draw a smile on the needy. And uh, I, uh, I, I just like I'm uh, sorry to interrupt you, Mrs. Ben Salem. Can you just yeah. enlarge the screen, please? Because it's yeah. not uh, legible, not clear. Is there a possibility? I don't know. Well, um, uh, uh, are you using PowerPoint or any uh, another software? Uh, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, but I couldn't hear you. Sorry. Uh, sorry, probably she can't that because she's using the mobile. Yeah. Uh huh. So, so she will be speaking. Actually, we cannot see the words, but uh, we'll listen to her carefully. Okay, go ahead. Back to you, Reem. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, uh, well, uh, well, uh, well. Uh, I said that I asked my pupils if uh, I just wa wanted to tease them. Would you like to uh, found uh, a charity? They seem. Uh, um, they see uh, they, uh, they, they, they didn't believe what I said, but I said it's very easy. OK, look, these are students just like you and we're able to create. Uh, so at, the, uh, at that time, they all shouted in one voice. Yes, it was then that I took the idea seriously and started to think with my pupils about uh, uh, what kind of charity we could uh, found. Well, 
uh, uh, ninth graders, okay, ninth graders at that time they were ninth graders in Ebersina Two Prep School. It's my my prep school where I uh, where I'm teaching. It's located in Kabari, Ibn Sina Kabaria. Was the only prep school that took uh, such a challenging decision. Okay. Uh, sorry, sorry, uh, Mrs. Sorry, Mrs. Ben Salem, to interrupt. Could you could you try rotating your your phone? It might be better. I'm I'm not sure. Could you try that? And sorry again for interrupting your presentation. Well, could you could you just ro now? rotate? Could you just rotate just the phone? Sure make it horizontal. That will work better, I guess. I'll do. Just I'm. Uh, you know that this is uh, the, this is the first uh, webinar. This is my, my first webinar. It's okay. okay. It's okay. Uh, so you're, I think you're you 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 may carry on. Please go ahead. Uh, okay. okay. So <laughs> I would like to to be concentrate. Okay, so uh, well, I, I said in my, my, my school, my prep school, or my uh, my pupils were the, the first. Okay, who took this challenging uh, challenging decision uh, to, to that means to create a school charity. So, what is the charity's aim? The charity's aim is to make pupils teach each others, either face to face or uh, virtually on uh, Facebook uh, group. Another, po uh, another more important uh, goal of uh, SGC is to help parents who spend all day long out of at work enter and come back home so exhausted to take care of their children's education and the parents of low social background who are unable to afford the necessary money for the extra hours uh, that their children uh, need because of course their children are not doing well at school by the time our scholar gift club evolved into more challenging targets which are the extracurricular activities so that uh, the extracurricular uh, activities so i'm going uh, uh, to 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 tell you about uh, these uh, activities, example, drama, music, painting, uh, and especially writing and translation. First, writing. What do we write? Okay, we write everything, mainly everything. We write plays, okay? Uh, and uh, writing is the most dominant activity. We write plays. Rofra Rizgi, for example, the, my pupils, okay, uh, she started writing uh, plays uh, uh, at the age of 13, and she is the major founder of Scholar Gift Club. Okay, we write it, and she write it also uh, other uh, other plays, uh, dyslexia, democracy, sewing school, and also we write uh, the, the the members. That means the members uh, stand ups, example mental illness. Okay, scenarios. Rabin Bufat, for example, and Rawa Ben Mabrook, they uh, wrote scenario and that will be edited in a film. Okay, entitled Self Confidence. We write prose, for example, vows. Vows is a kind of booklet. I ask the pupils, the members, uh, to write. Uh, uh, everyone write uh, uh, a passage. Okay, they write, uh, for example, few lines about any topic they choose, and nobody knows. Uh, uh, what uh, his uh, friend uh, was writing. And when I collected the text, uh, they seem, uh, 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 the, the text seem as if they were uh, uh, one book. Okay, that means with the beginning, uh, with the introduction, uh, and so on. That means the, the, the pupils or the members have the same problems, the, the same wonder about life issues. Uh, and we wrote, uh, and I have a pupil whose name is Khalil Habibi. He uh, he was at that time he was eighth grade. That means uh, thirteen or fourteen years old. He wrote he wrote uh, an interesting horror story uh, entitled Aisha. Okay, and I was very proud of him. We also uh, we, they also write poems. Okay, Men hello, hello. Yeah, we can hear you very well. Yes, go ahead, yes, please. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Uh, we write also poems. Uh, when I uh, when I say uh, poems, okay. Uh, uh, when I say we, that means my, my my students, okay. 
my students. Uh, many members are talented enough to write poems with different topics. For example, A. Abed, she wrote about feminism, Salma Zitouni, uh, Ghofran Rizvi wrote about uh, everything. Everything she wrote in different uh, in different uh, uh, about, uh, different uh, topics, and she is able to uh, to have to publish. Uh, she has the material to publish uh, books. Okay, and also uh, we uh, we are interested in translation. What do we translate exactly? We translate. Uh, we translate uh, songs. Uh, for example, we uh, we cho we chose uh, uh, four songs uh, with different topics: uh, love for the homeland, Tunis Habib, the relationship between the animal and the human beings, Belle and Sebastian. It's cartoon cartoon song. Relationship between family uh, members, uh, and fox story, mother tango. And then we, uh, the pupils, uh, sang them, uh, keeping the keeping the main, uh, keeping the same rhythm. Apart mother tango, mother tango was performed as a silent play. Also, we translate poems. Okay, uh, I'm so impressed by uh, two friends and colleagues, Sihem Sharif and Gigi Mejri, and uh, our Scholar Gift Club wants to uh, honor and give tribute to Gigi Mejri. So uh, we give we gave a workshop. The members translated uh, a poem and that a letter to Daddy and other members. Uh, uh, Raouf Israeli he used clay to model shapes related to the topic and Rania Hermesi resorted to watercolors okay uh, to draw what the poem uh, conveyed um, uh, what else okay we have film editing a very impressive activity is film editing and this is and this is uh, performed by uh, Ravain Bufata okay uh, we call him uh, boss uh, he edited the scenario self confidence when he was uh, 14 okay uh yes sir. Mm. carry on yeah yes uh, uh just a minute please um uh, the, the, this is the picture of clay modeling okay um uh, claim uh, modeling yes uh, uh, and then uh, we have other activities paintings clay modeling and wirecraft and we won different uh, uh, prizes some activities that the scholar gift members enjoy and uh, uh, the, the, that means the painting the clay modeling and wirecraft are the activities uh, scholar gift members enjoy and uh, the members are extremely talented and uh, by the way uh, 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 I would uh, like to thank uh, Mrs. Hela Ben Othman, the art teacher who helped me a great uh, deal. Okay, yes. Uh, I would uh, pay attention uh, to uh, remark, okay, uh, to, to attention to your remark. I would uh, say that uh, uh, our activity started before even the foundation of Scholar Gift Lab. Uh, I organized a conference uh, based on children's rights. The guests were a lawyer, a doctor, two social assistants, a pupils, parents, and colleagues uh, were present, of course, as, uh, as they are well welcomed. Okay, and uh, uh, they interacted very, the guests interacted very well with the, the parents and the, the pupils. Uh, the, my, my pupils, they were at the time eight graders, that means 13, 14, no more, performed a play entitled uh, Children's Rights, focus on the ch child rights for uh, education. For, uh, for education, and uh, the, the play was uh, written by Gofran, Gofran Rizgi. At that time, she, she, she was uh, only 13 years old. Okay, uh, because we, because we do, uh, because we, we do all these activities, we took share in different competitions, international, uh, for example, the Euro-Arab Dialogue. Our charity, SGC, was chosen as a project to represent Tunis One in the uh, Euro-Arab Dialogue given by UNESCO Berlin. It was a nice surprise for me and for my pupils. 
We presented our project in front of pupils and the teachers from different countries, Germany, Palestine, Jordan, and Lebanon. Uh, Mrs. Sharfi and I gave two workshops. The audience were impressed by our work. Uh, uh, Reem, could you just uh, repeat the last words, please? Because there were cuts in your voice. You couldn't hear them. Uh, I, I, that, uh, we do Sorry, you talked about um, you and Mrs. Sharfi. That's what we could hear last. Ah, yes, okay. I said that uh, Mrs. Sharfi and I gave two workshops. Uh, two workshops and the, uh, the audience were impressed. Uh, as for the national uh, competitions, we participated in Kafish Poetic Days twice and we won a prize on our translation of Gigi, Mejri, uh, Gigi Mejri's poem, A Letter to Daddy. Okay, and it seems that our activities impressed the media, that's why uh, they covered the many many of uh, them, okay? Uh, one wonders, where do scholar gift members perform or show their work? Simply in arts uh, festival, okay? My pupils and I, along with most of teacher, uh, teachers and pupils working in the, region, in the regional delegation Tunis One, owe a great do deal to uh, Mrs. Uh, Sharfi. Okay, Mrs. Naima Sharfi, Inspector General, who founded Art Festival. She is a person who is endowed with the noblest qualities that a human being may have. Her love to give a hand to pupils and her willingness to make them achieve what they aspire is beyond our expectation. She devoted her time, and she still does, her money and experience to enable the pupils as well as teachers to fulfill their dreams. I should say it's not an easy task at all. It's not uh, easy to run a festival without financial support. Her warm-heartedness let teachers and friends donate what they can to bring the festival uh, to light. Pupils and their teachers spend months preparing uh, for the event. All activities and projects, plays, slams, stand-ups, films, poems, paintings, puppet shows, translation, teacher projects should be presented during uh, three days. We also give tribute to some dead or retired inspectors and teachers. Some projects were presented at the National Theatre, for example, Animal Fire performed by Cabaria pupils. Mrs. Sharfi's goal is creating an opportunity for uh, pupils and teachers to express themselves as she believes in the pupils' potential. Her main achievement is that she made hundreds of pupils and teachers feel we are a family. Creativity unites. To create is to cooperate. We all shine, we all shine and rise uh, together. Some friends from the region of Belarus you, uh, usually come to give uh, a hand. A festival needs uh, money. A festival needs money energy, and above all, love. Mrs. Sharfi has taught us uh, to love each uh, other. She taught us to love uh, each uh, uh, other. That's why pupils and teachers love her. As for me, I admire her and feel deeply sad because she retired. I just want to tell her that I already miss her to the moon and back, and that I love her. What we learned from uh, this experience? What we learned is that uh, what we learned, okay, uh, that learning is more effective when we do it while having fun, and that extra uh, curricular activities uh, prevent pup pupils from uh, delinquency and uh, can uh, teach more than uh, ordinary uh, boring lessons with uh, a pre. Uh, while and just, uh, pre, while and post. Uh, children will get sense of success 
if they succeed in in something for example if they succeed in uh, in performing a play in uh, miming in uh, singing in uh, painting they feel that they can succeed in other fields even low achievers are uh, 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 are doing uh, uh, their best and they succeeded and they uh, and they succeeded uh, I, I would say that uh, um, uh, age is not a problem as i mentioned before uh, my my pupils started uh, writing at the age of 13 and they still uh, write different types uh, and dif different types uh, of uh, text and uh, poems okay uh, 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 on the student part, here I would like to Rofran to uh, to give her point of view and uh, Shaima Rofran Rizgi and Shaima Bjeu. Uh, hello, hello there. Hello. Hello. I'm excited that I'm I'm with you tonight. So uh, I would love to talk about uh, what we actually learned from this charity. Uh, we believe that the greatest gift to our community would be when we contribute to making lives better and to uh, to try helping others. Uh, so the whole experience opened our eyes to, to as teamwork, uh, which is very essential. Just simultaneously, uh, uh, it also makes us forget about uh, it also makes us motivated and we actually uh, have this kind of atmosphere that fosters our friendship and uh, loyalty and other uh, uh, you, you know other things such as uh, how to work uh, how to work together how to collaborate and how to rely on each other um, I would like to uh, I would like to leave it to Shaima. All right, hello everybody. I'm honored to be here with you tonight. Right. Uh, uh, for uh, uh, our club, uh, we had too many benefits out of it, like being heard and seen. Uh, personally, my voice as a 19-year-old student was heard when I spoke up about so many important matters, for example, bullying that took part of my life for so long when we talked about that in our stand-up titled Mental Illnesses. Uh, our club and our members were like a second family for us to lean on. The club became such a warm shelter for us all. Miss Reem took us, uh, took us up under uh, her wings. We became a family having a tight bond. We learned how to exp express ourselves. We developed our talents. Uh, we helped each other be better on every scale, including talent. We improved so much and having the chance to perform made us a little bit more confident about all what we have and all what we carry in ourselves and all our powers uh, that is uh, like collected our, out of the uh, our talents that we have. And that's basically our student. Um, hi again. Uh, I would love to to go back and finish what Shaima started. So as she said, we are basically and seen, uh, and as we know that every child is unique with a. A very great potential. So this club, our club, Scholar Gift Club, was uh, th basically that kind of home that allowed us to develop our ideas and to develop our talent, to actually speak for ourselves, to know how to express and how to to prepare our ourselves for this kind of challenge in life that we are going to uh, to go through in our future. It also uh, it also helped us limit that time. Uh, available for less uh, uh, effective activities such as like TV, going out with the wrong people. Uh, it uh, it kind of minimized the time we waste on social media and we actually made it effective. The fact that we always try to take care of that, maybe uh, if someone if someone asks a question or is like having a trouble dealing with uh, some countries there. Uh, and so yeah. 
uh, that's it. It was it was like our greatest experience that it taught us how to be responsible and it taught us that uh, we actually matter. And I would love to thank Ms. Reem and Ms. Naima for giving us this amazing opportunity. And thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dream. Mrs. Dream. I, I think that um, Ghafran and Shaymna are going to read this, uh, some of their uh, productions. Uh, yes, Shaymna, please. Shaymna. Yes. Shaymna, uh, yes, please uh, read your poems. All right. So my first poem is School, about school. And it's like uh, kind of my perspective and mostly every pu pupil's perspective. So here it goes. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Uh, is my sure. voice clear? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I see no reason to study. It's all a burden and it's so heavy. Last time I sat for an exam, my hands became so sweaty. My heart almost stopped, even though I, I was ready. We learned what stress means at a very young age. And now, because of my grades, I can't look at my parents in the face. My mind is not strong enough to solve an equation, but it can knit loops of my handwritings. Maybe I'm not good with maths and physics, but I can make castles out of papers and scissors. Maybe I take a little too long to understand, but hey, that's okay. I'm only human in the end. Here in our society, it's wrong to create. It's, strong, it's wrong to be different and it's wrong for our, my thoughts to fight. I struggle to find ways out of their perfection. I struggle to find ways out of my depression. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, school can be the reason of your therapy sessions. I'm tired, I claim and I say out loud. I know my parents would never be proud, but I refuse, refuse to be just one of the crowds. That's uh, uh, the poem that I wrote about school in general. And my other poem is titled, I Am. I am rage, I am calmness, I am sadness and I am happiness. I am fury and I am hate, I am love and I am faith. I am who I am and who I'm meant to be, the soul, the mind, and the skin that wraps me. Sometimes I cry and sometimes I break. Sometimes I want to run just so far away. Sometimes I'm mad. Other times I'm just afraid that all that I am will someday fade. Sometimes I'm strong and nothing can harm me. But when the night falls, I get so lonely. I reach for my mother. I ask her to hold me. After all, I'm only her child. And I'm only her baby. Sticks and stones had broken my bones. And a lot of words had hurt me. I stand tall and I stand straight. But my back aches and my knees shake. Sometimes my body is just not enough to hold me. Other times I'm, strong than those, I'm stronger than those who shattered me. I am rage and I am calmness. I am sadness and I am happiness. I am fury and I am hate. I am love and I am faith. I am who I am and who I'm meant to be, but I am also what no one will ever understand or ever even see. There you go. Great. Thank okay. you so much. Well done. Uh, uh, would Wofran uh, read the, the mental illness? Wofran? Yes, Wofran? He was with us. Gofran. Gofran. Oh, and I'm going to speak. Okay. Miss mm. <laughs> Reem. Uh, I'm listening. I'm going to talk. Can you display the text if you wish? world and scream except me the way i am fat girls are still managing to love their bodies and the world screams in their face mm. 
their starvation and of being not enough of her when I first felt insecure about my. Um, it seems Wait. that. And of course. Uh, um, it's, it seems that we've lost your yeah, voice at sorry. some point. Uh, could you start again? Yes, just start over. Otherwise, we can share it in the Facebook group if Ofran is having um, problems yeah. with sharing her screen. I don't know. Yeah, I think so. Sorry, um, really wrong we'd love to hear. Time, yeah. yeah, we'd love to hear from her. Maybe, maybe by the end of this of this webinar. Bufran. Yeah, yeah. yeah maybe by the end of the webinar. Yeah, Mrs. Ben Salem. Should I actually? Mrs. Ben Salem. Yes. Yeah, Bufran, start it all over. Uh, we'll, we'll give we'll give her uh, some time by the end of this webinar. Um, okay. So. We hope she'll be ready uh, then. So uh, for the time being, um, I'm not sure. Have you finished your your presentation? Um, excuse me, but that's what France, yeah, Habib. Yeah, we'll I think we better give her a chance now. Ah, if she's ready, it's okay. Yeah, she is. Okay. Go ahead, Rafran. It's, it's okay, this is Naima. Yeah. Let her breathe a bit and then later on uh, she can read uh, the extract. Yeah. Hello, um, uh, Mrs. Ben Salem is still with us? Yes, I'm here. Yeah, so thank you very much, Mrs. Ben Salem. Thank you, uh, Rafran and Shayma. It was really a very inspiring presentation. Thank you very much for sharing all of those. Uh, activities with us. Um, I don't know whether the, uh, the attendees have got uh, any questions to Mrs. Binstedem. Yes, please. Yeah, we have uh, Mrs. Honeida. So unmute your microphone and ask your question or give your command. Mrs. Honeida. Are there any other participants or attendees who would like to ask questions? Uh, we'd, we'd, love, we'd love to, to hear from Mrs. Naima Shafi because uh, yeah. we heard a lot of uh, <laughs> Yeah. You're making our, our task very hard, Mrs. Naima. <laughs> yeah, no, <man. laughs> no, I think Mrs. Reem uh, left nothing. <laughs> Can you please tell us a bit? <laughs> Well, I, I think uh, well, she, she talked as a teacher, but as, as an inspector, I think my job was first to, as we some mentioned before, was to encourage pupils first to read. So as an inspector, every time I visited a teacher, and you know that we are supposed to take at least two notebooks to, uh, to control, I would give the notebooks back but within each notebook, I would give one book or two for pupils. Uh, no matter the language, it would, could be Arabic, it could be French or English. Now, the, uh, the aim was to encourage them to read first. I also started what I call the um, uh, Read to Lead initiative or the reading uh, diary for pupils. And we started with open days. We started very uh, small and we grew up. I remember the first uh, edition of the festival was in the gym. But later on, we could get the uh, Masadi Center. It's beautiful. Uh, it, I mean, it, it's up to our dream. And we, we grew up with uh, the arts festival uh, through uh, many uh, contests and competitions. We had the creative writing, we had the translation competition, we had the, um, we, uh, the plays, the songs, the slam, uh, all types of artistic work was, uh, were there. Uh, what I like it best is uh, the uh, prizes we gave. We gave, again, books, so books again and again, reading again and again was uh, uh, important all through the uh, experience. 
uh, we took the pupils to uh, uh, the uh, uh, Poetic Days of Carthage, which is the poetry festival, just like the GCC uh, and uh, the uh, drama days also. So I was looking for opportunities and of course I got uh, some luck I have to say and I have to thank my colleague Mrs. Amel Qadri who offered me the chance to take part in the Euro-Arab dialogue three times and I was glad to take uh, some teachers, some pupils each time and to animate workshops and all the workshops by the way uh, we uh, designed were based on poetry, which is, I mean, here, which uh, meets your uh, webinar here, creative writing. So everything revolves around creative writing, giving the chance to pupils who have potential, to teachers who are motivated and enthusiastic, just like Mrs. Reem Ben Salem. She is the star of the festival. She is my star. I also love her, and I'm so grateful because. Uh, an inspector on his own cannot do anything. It's thanks to uh, Reem and teachers like her. And I think Mrs. Basmazghal is uh, uh, attending today here. I also have to thank her. And so many other teachers in Tunis One. They are all creative. When you give them the chance, they do push things to an extreme of creativity and innovation. I'm so grateful for them. I thank them all. And thank you for this chance. Thank you, Lemme. Thank you, Sahbib and Kamil. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Naima. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you Camilia. Thank you. Yeah. I love the, uh, the authentic activities. They were so, so enriching, mm. so engaging and motivating to the students. That's really yeah. amazing work. Bravo. I just worry about what is happening and now and this COVID, yeah. I mean, which interrupted the festival. And I worry about these creative voices okay and i'm looking for a chance to uh, make them uh, um, speak speak so loud and express themselves they they so are they are creative and they need uh, they need the focus of the inspectors they need the focus of the media and the uh, reen mentioned that we went to many radios and they uh, contributed their poetry uh, in many uh, occasions on many occasions and i'm so glad uh, they did it and i hope they will have other chances yeah, from the FTCE, she has always uh, supported us. I thank her also very much. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, great. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering whether we need to give a chance for um, participants to ask questions. I know we got three colleagues, Mrs. Hunaida, Mrs. Olfa, Mrs. Asma, and again, Mr. Muhammad as well. I don't know. Um, time, I'm just worried about time. So maybe one maybe. question per attendee. Um, could we, we allow that? Question. And briefly, please. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Okay. Huneida, um, if you are ready. Start with Mrs. Huneida. Yes, shall we? Um, just a second before that, I'd just like to tell um, Mrs. Reem that some colleagues are writing in the chat box asking her to um, share some poems. Okay. Uh, yes, Mrs. Yeah. Uh, Mrs. Camilia. Yeah. Yes, yeah. please. We we kindly also ask um, and remind Mrs. Rim Ben Salem to share her uh, work and uh, her presentation and maybe the work of yes. her of her um, pupils via yeah. our uh, Facebook group. Yes, Mrs. Asma as well earlier. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so Mrs. Huneida, are you there? Mm, Mrs. Olfa, yes, please. So Mrs. Honeda is leaving, I guess. Mrs. Olfa, yes, please. You got, you got a question, I guess. So if Mrs. Just Olfa is not available, so what about Mrs. Asma? Yes, please, Mrs. Asma. Hello again, everyone. Um, in Hello. fact, I don't have a question because I, I'm really stunned by what I've heard and what I've seen. And you ladies and students, you have my deepest thanks. You are really the embodiment of what uh, Colin Wilkes, uh, Wilkes has once said, that teaching is the greatest act of optimism. Thank really, you. in the face of all the disrespect, misbehavior, and lack of enthusiasm and motiva motivation from students, 
Teachers are the believers, and you believed in these uh, young voices. You gave them wings to fly. And I believe that these voices, they hold the, futures in the, the future in their hands. And by enabling them to have a voice and to speak out through writing, you uh, made really something that was unattainable uh, come true. And uh, well, uh, really, uh, I'm so overwhelmed and I think words really failed me, especially after hearing the uh, the poem from the students. I was like, oh my God, this is uh, something out of this world, really. And I'm so proud that we, uh, that you believed and you, um, oh, oh my God, <laughs> words are failing me. Wallah. <laughs> Literally, they are failing me. Uh, thank yeah, you so much. That's, that's and, great. Uh, it's amazing. It's simply amazing. Thank you. Very thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Maybe, maybe one more from the end. We move on to. Uh, Mohammed Bushadah is asking the question on the chat. Uh, yeah. Can you read that? Present their work or raising his hand, Mr. Mohammed. Yes, still raising his hand. Hello, everybody again. Okay. Yes. Hello. Yes. Uh, I want to. I want to to thank Mrs. Shafi for the great work that she is doing, and uh, I hope that uh, uh, yes, her work uh, is uh, will be. Uh, uh, available in, in all our schools because really i think that extracurricular activities and having clubs uh, is something very important it plays a pivotal role in, uh, in educating our children and uh, uh, protecting protecting them against all forms of delinquency uh, uh, especially these days and uh, i want mr shafi to to give a message we have uh, here s s first uh, some ELT uh, inspectors and uh, perhaps uh, why not the Minister of Education perhaps he's, he, he can is he's, he's, uh, uh, he's uh, listening listening to you so uh, I think we uh, the, uh, the Ministry of Education should give more importance to extracurriculum activities and uh, clubs in our schools I think they they play a very important role, and we we heard the uh, her pupils talking about the activities, and they uh, they say that they they enjoy these activities, so these uh, clubs and extra curricular activities they help them to thrive, and and they said to improve their skills and talent, and then uh, moreover they said that uh, uh, these curricular extra curricular activities. And the clubs, they uh, they represented the, the, the family for them, so they shared feelings and reports. I think, in a word, these clubs and extracurricular activities they are the best tool uh, to fight against delinquency and all forms of uh, anti-racism uh, these days, and to protect our uh, our our team. Okay, uh, Mr. Mohammed. I, uh, uh, I wanted the message yeah. to. To deliver yes, to, uh, to everybody. That's it. Thank well, you. Uh, well said, Sir Mohammed. You said it all. <laughs> no, you know, I did not yeah, uh, wait for much. the ministry. I did not wait for anyone to uh, tell me what to do. I just looked for opportunities. Uh, we initiated, for example, English clubs for translation. And we had a very interesting translation uh, on a yearly basis. And uh, it went in the three languages, as I have said. Uh, uh, I like Arabic. Uh, of course, we encourage French. And English is our specialty. So we initiated those uh, translation clubs. Uh, teachers would uh, choose their own texts. And by the end of the year, I would choose the uh, uh, three texts in uh, the three languages, uh, translation in the two ways, English into Arabic, English into French, English into, uh, and vice versa, sorry. Uh, mm -hmm. And I would choose the uh, the texts, type them, get them ready, I mean, zero to them, etc. And I would arrange for uh, the context on one day, and I call it the translation uh, competition in Arabic, Al Mutarjam al I because I'm fond of translation, and I believe in the, um, 
importance of languages. Uh, I believe that Arabic is important. And yeah. it's one uh, thing I wanted to encourage, encourage pupils to read in Arabic first, our language first. So I started things in this way. So uh, the translation clubs was one of the uh, things I initiated uh, on a personal level. Okay, I did not ask for the permission of anyone, uh, I'm sorry to say that, because the ministry, the minister, I don't know about, he attended the, the um, Euro-Arab dialogue when Reem and the Scholarship Club uh, took part, uh, and nothing happened after his attendance. I thought maybe things would have changed, but nothing changed. So I just counted on no one. I counted on teachers in my district, on their pupils, and on our enthusiasm, motivation, and belief that we can change things. And I think we did change things. Thank you, Si Mohammed. Thank you. Thank you. I have uh, just one hope, Si Kamel. I hope that the new channel, the educational channel, will include, apart from lessons, some cultural activities, such as the ones we took part in, such as the ones yeah, we animated, it's... And uh, we were applauded everywhere we went. So I hope the minister uh, will be conscious enough of what is going on and will take advantage of these activities. And uh, they can, of course, uh, uh, program uh, uh, some of these activities and many more. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. Thank you, Mrs. Thank Sharfi. Uh, Lama is in and she can uh, advocate that. <laughs> ah, Lama, you are in the committee? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Ah, that's oh, great, yeah. Lame. So, so we can do something about it, you and I, uh, Lame. Inshallah. Inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much, Mr. Naima. Thank you very much. Thank you. And um, thank, you. thank you, Mrs. Reem, uh, uh, Shayma, and Rafran. Uh, uh, Again, it was really amazing, Ms. Pardas. Mrs. Lame, is, is it possible that Rafran uh, reads uh, now? Because uh, I think now it's time for Mrs. Uh, Darla Benarta, and maybe later on uh, we can ask Ofran to read um, the extract. Okay? Okay. So, M M Mrs. Camilla, please, can you yes, introduce our next speaker? Let's first check whether she's here with us. Mrs. Zora, hello. Yes, Ms. Camilla. Okay, yes. welcome. So, um, let nice. me first, let me Thank you. start. Thank you. Welcome. Um, so, Mrs. Dara Ben Arfa um, has been teaching for over 18 years now. She had a seven year teaching experience in KSA that had um, a positive impact on her professional development. She took part in the language village in Monastir twice as a presenter. And she embarked on yearly projects with her students, such as the Learning Centers project. Um, today, she will tell us about a writing project that she carried out with her students, a project that helped her engage her students and motivate them to love writing. There you are, Mrs. Dura. The floor is yours. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, thank you, my colleague, for your creative ideas, for uh, the hard work. Okay. Yes. Would you please share your screen, Mrs. Dora? Yes. Okay. Just one minute, please. Partage. Partager. Done? Yeah. Thank you. Let's make it full screen, right? Full screen? It, it is, right? Um, I don't know. I guess not. OK, that's fine anyway. Yeah, go ahead. It's okay, Mrs. Narpa, we can see the screen. It's fine. 
will be the next slide. They have just one minute, please. Yeah. Okay. So I will share my uh, experience. I worked with uh, primary uh, students, with prep students, and then secondary pupils. So the first thing is that we uh, I have asked, we've talked a lot that uh, about it, and then I encourage them to write. And then the, uh, we spoke about portfolio or uh, file to put our things. And then I gave them template. This is one of the types of templates where in the white part they draw what they will write about. And then down they write uh, about the, their pictures. So they will take time. And it depends on the students. Some students, they do enjoy drawing, others they don't. They just start writing. So now that's um, at the first in the first session, I encourage them to list topics. These are the, some of their topics, losing my tooth, uh, the uh, first day at school, helping dogs. And this paper, now in each folder, they should have this paper. Each one should have his topics on, is it the, in this list. If they don't have ideas, we just we can provide them with some prompts. So I might help with some prompts. What we need to give students is the high frequency words, the fries list. That's the first 100. There is second 100. There is the third 100. So that would help them in their writings. We do also we need to give them story words that these are examples of words you can use in their stories at the beginning what should they say in the middle and by the end this again all of these should be in their files but not uh, at one time yani each uh, uh, sorry not um, i mean each time we give mini lesson we talk about one thing and then we give so they will put these sheets in their files they will go back to them when they start writing we should also give punctuation marks, sheet about it. What are these and how to use them? And then we need to model, like we can give uh, a paragraph and then we, we use, uh, uh, we correct this paragraph. We do editing and then we ask them to use these, uh, these marks. Okay. Again, we might give good endings for stories that, uh, that could help them have ideas how to finish their writings. Now, and with the thought or feeling and by cycling back to your book and with something you want your readers to remember, etc. Also, we can give charter, uh, character traits, sorry. These are some adjectives to enrich their vocab, to enrich their stories. So what are we working on is that we are working on the five traits of writing. Uh, sorry, the five steps of the writing process. We work on the pre-writing, on the drafting, on the revising, on the editing, and on the publishing. But the which ones are we assessing? Do we assess the writing process in our school or are we assessing the writing traits? Now, here, what are the traits? We talk about ideas, the content, the theme, the message, the organization between the structure, the voice, is the personal tone that brings your writing to life. The word choice is the vocab used to convey the meaning. The sentence fluency is the rhythm or flow of your writing. Conventions, the correct spelling and punctuation, capitalization and grammar, and then presentation is the, uh, the final thing. How does your writing look like? Now, these are some mini lessons I took from internet that you might that might help you. Implementing one, this is one, about one of the traits, which is sentence fluency. So it is, means whenever you have a um, writing process or writing, let's say, session, we teach one of these things. Yani, I mean, one of the steps or, or one of the traits. You cannot give everything at one, on one time. Another mini lesson could be about word choice. That's a, a sample. Okay, the tired words thing. 
It's about the use of, there are some words that we use them all the time, like good, nice, big. And then you do encourage them to use other words. Today we are going to focus on the words, like let's say big. I've noticed that in your writing that you are using, let's say big. Let's put it to bed and then take out your thesaurus. And what other words can you use instead of? So you look for synonyms, you might look for opposites. Uh, record you new words on the overhead or later place in a tired words pocket. Okay. Again, you know, have students look at their own writing, find a tired word and replace it. That means each time you give mini lesson, they need to practice. You need to practice with them. And then that's a mini lesson, which is from five to ten minutes. And, and then you let them go back to work on their uh, on their on their writing. Now, I used to write most of the time um, narratives, free writing stories. They used to write free writing stories. Okay? Then they, they do have conference with the teacher or the peer. They do have, and they might have questions the next. Uh, okay. Now, that's another mini lesson I've done uh, that was with uh, prep school. Now, that's about how to write paragraph that in the paragraph we might have an, we do have an idea and some details again that was for 10 to 15 minutes and i've also done work on the sheet what happens next prediction which is very important again that was another one to tell story we have to finish drawing and write the story down that was for teaching story elements, the who, the where, the what, the when. They always need to think about these WH questions. Mini lesson on the show, not to tell. When we say I was happy, it's not, it's better to say, I skipped all the way home humming songs in my head. It's this, which is better to improve the writing. Now, other things we need to work on as teachers is the, are the checklists. Now, that's a simple checklist. It depends on the level of the student. That's for personal narrative. Now, the checklist here, the student needs to read and then put a tick or an X. Okay? When after finishing his story, he has to ask himself, I can focus on a small moment from my life. Yes or no? And then I can write the beginning, middle, and end. Yes or no? So here, that's a checklist for his work. Other kind of checklist can be for descriptive writing. And I, when I worked in Saudi Arabia, it was mainly about genres. Does, that, does, it, have, does, that, does it have capital letters at the start of each sentence and it's a full stop at the end? Okay. That's another kind of checklist, which, uh, which is about persuasive writing. What sort of persuasive writing is it? Letter, poster, flyer, travel brochure, advert, catalog, or book blurb, etc. Now, there is also there are also rubrics which we don't use in Tunisia. Yani. I start like these are uh, this is again that's a simple one. It can be for uh, for uh, prep schools. It's about the capital letter punctuation. It's about the my letters are on the line, writing on the line. And then it's about the space, the finger space. That's a simple one. A bit harder is the kid-friendly one, where we assess ideas, organization, the voice, the word choice, the sentence fluency, and the conventions. Another rubric, organization content, fluency, and language usage. And the harder one is for like this one is for realistic fiction again so there are rubrics and checklists for both for different genres we just need to pick or sometimes you need to pick and adjust to your to your level or depends on the students on what you want to assess students on uh, so these are how they work either individually and as you can see this, this is my the folder that they used to have now each student, is the, first, the student in the middle, she's having a photo, see? The other one here is drawing. He did not write yet. And the other, they are checking dictionaries. So that's individual work. It was also pair work when they, when they use the rubric. 
to assess either their work or each other's work to check them in. And that's group work again. So they will read, they will share. And as you can see, that's a, that, <clears throat> yeah, that's a different graphic organizer. We need to encourage teachers to use different graphic organizers in the classroom. And students, they enjoy seeing different things. So that's another different gra graph organizer given. See here, they are checking the route, they are, they are reading. Each one is reading history and then they will assess or, uh, yeah, I mean, they will see what are the positive points and what should the students work on more. Again, group work. So he will read and then he will explain to his friends about where he is and where he should work on more. Now, something else is that you need to explain to the students that the, in, this, in this work, this, if it's sometimes group work, they have to follow rules like get out work done, respect others on, to be on task. Yeah, they have to use quiet voice. They have to support each others, and uh, they might stay either in pairs or in, in groups. It depends what you ask them to do. So they need to have rules set from the beginning. And then this sheet, I used to give the sheet um, to students. They will assess their work as a group. Okay. They will put the date and they will put tick. It's a way to encourage uh, implementation of these rules. Now, we, my colleagues, they did talk about stories. Yes, it do help a lot. Learning through listening to stories with subtitles. Now, it's not just reading, it's also listening. They need to listen to some stories. Now, here, why subtitles? Because it does help also uh, having some English background. Okay. Now, these are some, as you can see here, they are listening, enjoy listening again for 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 the five to fifteen minutes. Because we will have discussion and then they will go back to their files and finish writing. Time to listen to English story. It can be done at any time of the lesson and used for different purposes, either listening for fun or teaching. Again, now this learning through reading stories. Now, I gave a pile of books. I do get books, English books. I ask them sometimes to bring books. They do have some English books. So they, they do bring their books. And then, alors, what, do I, what do they do here? They might fill in a graphic organizer about character traits, this one, about his attitude, his appearance, okay? What does he, his feelings, what does he say? Now, why do I do this? Because when they, do, when they will write about a person or a character in a story, they will think about these elements, these details. So that's learning through reading stories. And they enjoy doing this. So five to 15 minutes reading time, and then they, they fill in graphic organizer. As you can see here, there is another graphic organizer where we have beginning, middle, and end, and we have um, the setting, the, I mean, the where and when. Timing, setting, and then the, the, um, the beginning, middle, and end, story structure. So there are some different strategies that I have used with my students throughout my career. Now in the pre-writing, they do fill in a story web. Uh, okay, that's a called a tell it twice strategy. How do we use it? It's first they fill in a story. They will think about this story, any story that, that comes to your, their mind. They will fill in any graph organizer given. They will choose. Yeah, I used to put different graph organizers, and students come to my desk and they will choose one of the graph organizers. They and then they will start listing words. I always tell them no sentences, just words, phrases. They will fill in the story web. They, then they will tell the whole story to a partner before starting writing. They will tell the whole story that they have in their mind to a partner. 
Now the listener, what he will he do? He will ask him few questions or he will give suggestions like, what is his name? Uh, where will he go? Is it? Okay, so these are some questions or suggestions. And then the, the, the reader or the, the teller, he will go back to the web and add missing, missing details, okay? And then he will turn to another partner to retell the story and add more details. That's why you call it twice. It, he will tell his story twice. Now, this is a way to enrich, to remember details, to put some adjectives, to recall the setting, okay? Something else we, they, which students enjoy in class doing is the author's chair. Why chair? Because we provide for students a chair and then the others will be like uh, sitting like uh, in a horse, uh, in a shoe horse shape they, to listen to their friends uh, work. So here they were sitting groups, they will have stories in their hands. They will show drawings. Now, I am, if I'm the reader, I have a story in my hands. I will show my friends just my drawings and then they will listen. Ah, okay. And then I will listen to their predictions. So I will tell them, what do you think will happen next in my story? What do you think will happen next? Now see this picture. So what do you think will happen next? Prediction is one of the good strategies, which is a reader strategy. Okay, prediction. Now they will give comments. I might also give comments. And then I will start retelling the story. By the end, we will ask and answer questions in this group work, okay? We will fill in a retelling checklist. As I told you, we need to have checklist by the end. And then also there is a retelling checklist. And then we will get and give feedback. Thank you for the questions. I like those questions. I like the ending, okay? And then again, I do put rules like speak English, take turns. That's author's chair, that's another strategy. Okay, now this is some pictures about author's chair. See, they show pictures, yeah? She's showing them pictures. Again, he's not talking, he's just showing pictures. Now, time for conference. Now, we have to have conference time. Now, when, whenever students, you know, the most, you know, the best time uh, or the best years I've worked was with uh, when I had uh, the third hour in prep schools. Now, in prep schools, I used to let students work on different things. And then, uh, like someone is working on um, grammar points, the other is doing um, vocabulary work. And I, whenever I have a group who's working on writing, I used to have conferences with them. Conferences with them. Now here I have conference. I used to write, take notes here, and tell the students about them. So I, I might listen to him reading. I might just listen to him telling his story using the the graph organizer. So this is I put the dates to see it. why the dates to make sure that. Alors um, why the date? I might meet him uh, three times in a month. Now this here, you might, you want to see the progress maybe. Or you want to make sure also that, okay, then this boy, I have conference with him. Okay, now that's conferencing. And then it's a true story. It's nice, it's simple. Yeah, I do draw faces, smiley face, sad face, not sad face, I do draw normal face. We always need to start with the positive encourage the students and then uh, tell them what they need to work on more, okay? And then conferencing can be with me, then sometimes I let them do have shared work with students. Now, we have to have teacher follow-up checklist. Like today I, I sat with Asma, maybe next week or two weeks uh, later, I sat with uh, Omar. So that's to make sure that you sit with, sit with all of them. You have to have this sheet with you. Now, what are you work? What are we working on as teachers? Is the Bloom's taxonomy is that we need to encourage students 
not only to remember, but also to understand, to apply, to analyze, to evaluate, and mainly to create. Okay, so this is it. Yeah, in the right hand, we, we have the do's and the don'ts. We need to write often, if not every day. Now, and then in Saudi Arabia, we used to have something called journals. In Tunisia, I did also implement it in prep schools, but it was mainly by the end of the session. What did you learn? At least, what did you learn today? Simple thing, okay? Or it can be done in other way. They used to have journals. They might write about what did they do in the morning. Just one sentence, two sentences is just to encourage students to write. Now, what we have to do is that let students see you write. Now, when you like uh, uh, teach them writing, you have to write stories. Like you can write the introduction. You have to take big sheets, put it on the wall, uh, on the wall or on the board, and then you write um, your beginning introduction of your story. Now here you have to model for them like. Uh, you have to think aloud, like say, um, today I'm going to um, mosque, no, to the soup, yeah, maybe. See, it's the way they do it. So, and then they have, so when they write, let you, and then again, you have to make mistakes. Try to make mistakes, which is on purpose, because this you will lose it, use it for later on for editing and revising, okay? Now, share the joy of writing. You have to show your excitement. You need to model. All the time you need to model, revision and editing. You have to share writing from many sources, including our writings. You ha we have to let students know we are eager to see what they write, not just write and okay, no. We need to see, we need to listen to them. We need to, be to smile, everything needs to be there. We need to display writing. We need to have portfolios. And they will enjoy bringing their portfolios. They will tell you where, when will we do writing teacher. Keep on to use worksheets only for many lessons and support. We model. We we need to model the use of writing tools. How to use dictionaries and everything. We need to encourage and support their revisions. Teach conventions. So especially the words that have underlined are keywords. The read aloud is very important for modeling at every opportunity. Now we don't, in Tunisia, we don't have big books. In Saudi Arabia, they did have, they do have big books, which they enjoy looking at, making predictions, making connections, everything. Now encourage inventive spelling as a way to solve common writer's problems of stopping the flow to find out how to spell a word. Respond to content first. Never, never start with editing we always need to start with revising you can if you work on like let's say first month on one of the genres keep uh, editing la by the end of the month okay celebrate small victories uh, set a positive risk-free environment do make a structured schedule for your writing workshop Okay, teach peer conferencing. You have to teach them, model for them again, and teach them how to have peer conference. Okay, how to sit together, ask and answer questions, guide their, their friends, okay? Again, and I spoke to, about the rules. You have to have rules. Maybe you put them on the wall, okay? So that they will go back to them, or you just give them a small sheet that should be on their, in their files, okay? And then here again, you can could you could play soft music while they are working. Now the don'ts never assess or correct everything, otherwise they will be fed up. Be afraid to share your writing with your students. Don't sorry, don't do not be afraid to share the, your writings. Don't worry too much about conventional correctness. Uh, do not demand revision or editing. You need to model it. Do not overlook the tiny details, the little moments of voice, the new conventions, okay? Do not forget to point these strengths out to your writers. Don't forget to let students see how much you love books, writings, and teaching. Don't forget to make a schedule, as I said before. 
and don't grade them or their papers, okay? And don't stress out. And thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Zara. Thank you for the time and effort you took to share to share your work with us. That's really very interesting, very interesting ideas and strategies, checklists, rubrics, and pieces of advice as well. It would be great to, um, I mean, if you could share the presentation in our U Innovative Group. Some colleagues asked for that, actually. Inshallah. Okay. I, just, I just have some pictures. Can I put them some? Can okay, I? you can put them on while listening to Mrs. Um, Sarah Jaden as okay, yeah. you a question or any oh, comments, yeah. okay? Oh, and thank very much, uh, Mrs. Durra. I'm happy that a young teacher like you has all what I have in mind. There are only five years left in my career, and I am confident that you, the young teachers, will do everything which is good for English. I'm happy. I wonder if you have a foreign experience, because well, yeah, this is all said. I learned in Canada what I practiced exactly the same things yeah so I'm happy now I spent seven years in Saudi Arabia that's it uh, are you hearing me yes uh, Mrs. Durra uh, do you yes. have foreign experience because I have... this is all the strategies I personally learned in Canada and I yeah. practiced that all the things and um I wish to practice this in Tunisia. The only point in Tunisia, we don't uh, give writing um, enough time. We focus a lot on reading, on grammar, on vocabulary, but writing sums up everything and should be done in many, um, in many steps. Uh, for example, when I was in Canada, my students used to write uh, assignments in one hour, two hours, three hours in a portfolio. But here, all the students uh, are obliged to have, uh, have the same time for one essay. There is no differentiated uh, teaching. And all these ideas to be practiced, we should adapt our curriculum to this. Thank you very much. I'm happy young, like young teachers like you do uh, practice all these strategies in writing, in productive teaching. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Sarah. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. I'm wondering if there are other questions or we move on to the next speaker. Yeah, <coughs> it would be better because we are conscious of time. It would be better to move on to the uh, two other speakers, Mrs. Noah Damak and Mrs. Samar Dridi. And okay. we might devote a few minutes by the end of this webinar to some more questions. Okay. Okay. Yes. I want to know Mrs. Noah Damak and Mrs. Samar are with us. Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. Hello. Okay. So this is Mrs. Noah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So, what about Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Summer? Hello. I'm here. Welcome. Can you hear Welcome, me? Welcome, Mrs. Summer as well. Okay, great. Hi. Okay, so Mrs. Lamak, would you please introduce our two speakers? Yeah, with pleasure. Uh, so, okay. Mrs. Nuhadama, uh, an EFL teacher with a teaching experience of about 15 years. She is an EDA coordinator with the British Council a Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert and an online tutor. Uh, she took part in organizing and delivering many innovative student-centered projects. And concerning Mrs. Samar Didi, she's been teaching English as a foreign language for over 15 years. She is also an EASA coordinator and a Microsoft Innovative Educator Expert. Uh, she's also a Teach SDGs uh, ambassador. She is keen on developing her students' life skills through collaborative projects. And she also provides online training on ICT for uh, her fellow colleagues. Uh, Mrs. Dridi and Mrs. Mrs. Dam are going to give us an idea about a virtual writing camp that they participated in designing and 
facilitating. So over to you, ladies. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Leme. So, Mrs. Summer, would you please share your screen? Yes, right now. Is my screen on? Yeah. yeah. Loading, yes. Loading, it's, yeah. it's there. Good. Okay. So, uh, thank you for this opportunity. My dear colleague Samar Dridi and I are very pleased to be here to share with you the amazing experience that we had with other innovative educators um, in running virtual camp for students. So actually, we have invited some of them to, uh, I mean students, to share their opinion about it and to start uh, with, we are going to um, have an overview of this project. So as you may see, it's an online camp focusing on some creative writing genres and the techniques used in them, followed by a writing competition by age group. So it was in uh, August, actually four days, two hours a day, uh, targeting students from eighth and ninth form basic education and first and second form secondary education. Uh, in partnership with the Regional Library of Tunis, directed by Mrs. Afwal Inglis, and a group of uh, colleagues. I can mention, for example, uh, Mrs. Samar, Mrs. Sousan Abid, Mrs. Hana Bilkehia, Mrs. Ulfa Ben Hassin, Mrs. Reem Walhazi, and myself, with the coordination of Mrs. Lame Adri. So the jury that uh, evaluated the participants' final project um, are Mrs. Camilia Zorgati, Mr. Habib Shermi, and Mrs. Lame Atwi. These are uh, ELT inspectors that evaluated the final projects. So the genres, uh, the genres that we have uh, covered during this camp were uh, acrostic poem for eighth form, the slam poetry, flash stories, and comics. And uh, since it's a virtual camp, we were able to use some online tools uh, for the Microsoft Teams, of course, to do the live sessions, Flipgrid, which enabled the students to uh, uh, record the slam poems, the storyboard that, that enabled them to create cartoons this way, which a presentation containing all the productions. And during the sessions, we have used Kahoot, Quizlet, Learning Apps, and Mentimeter to check their understanding, etc. Okay, so uh, now I'm going to invite Mrs. Samar to uh, give you some details about the sessions. Mrs. Samar? Okay, yeah, I'm here. Yeah. Thank you very much, Nuhe. Uh, well, so uh, as uh, Nuhe introduced our uh, e-camp, uh, it actually includes uh, four sessions. So uh, I'm going to, uh, to give you um, uh, a deeper, if you'd like, uh, a view about the sessions. So we started with an introductory session in which we introduced uh, uh, the sustainable development goals. So we started by, um, uh, if you'd like, uh, uh, drawing uh, participants' attention to some uh, uh, problems uh, uh, around us related to uh, environment, related to uh, gender equality, to war, etc. And uh, we tried to um, uh, we pushed them to give, uh, uh, if you'd like, solution, and then uh, we introduced the solution uh, suggested by the United States, uh, the United uh, um, uh, Nations, uh, which is uh, uh, the uh, 2030 agenda and uh, the 17 sustainable goals. So they watched the video about uh, uh, the goals, uh, and then we, to check their understanding. We had uh, um, um, activities uh, uh, through uh, learning apps. Uh, uh, they answered some questions uh, uh, to be sure that they understood uh, the concept, if you'd like, of uh, the sustainable development goals. Then we introduced the writing genre, 
of course, uh, uh, we asked them how uh, can we use writing uh, uh, to serve, if you'd like, or to act uh, uh, for these uh, uh, goals. Um, so, what can we write? So, the, these are the genres we introduced. Poetry. We introduced poetry a little bit and then we uh, told them about uh, uh, or gave them samples of poetry like uh, acrostic poems, free verse poems, haiku uh, and slam. Then uh, we uh, showed them prose. Same thing, we gave them some samples like biography, letters, novels, newspaper articles. And uh, finally, uh, uh, we introduced BDs or uh, comic uh, strips. Of course, then to check uh, their uh, understanding, uh, uh, we used uh, Quizlet, which is a web tool uh, to see uh, how far they assimilated the things we have seen together. And uh, of course, we gave them tips uh, uh, about writing to help them uh, organize themselves. Uh, uh, these are things they are going to need in the uh, coming sessions. Then in the second session, we started with uh, uh, spoken <coughs> word poetry or slam poetry. Of course, uh, first we told them or uh, uh, talked to them about different genres of uh, uh, poetry. And then we introduced uh, uh, slam poetry. They watched videos about uh, 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 po poets uh, telling uh, uh, slam uh, poetry so that they can, uh, uh, of course, uh, um, uh, deduce if you'd like the characteristics uh, of uh, uh, that genre. We also uh, gave them useful gra grammatical structures uh, uh, that maybe they can use in their uh, um, uh, poems. Uh, as usual, to check their understanding, we used uh, uh, learning apps, activities, we used Kahoot games also. They really like that because uh, they enjoy uh, uh, playing, if you'd like, and at the same time, they are uh, um, uh, reviewing uh, things we have seen during uh, uh, the session. Um, Mrs. Nuhe, over yes. to you. Yeah. OK, thank you. So hi again. So I'm going to present sessions three and four. Session three was devoted to flash story. So we have introduced the flash story to participants through a sample and then the definition of a flash story. So the genre and what is known for. And uh, for, uh, to uh, get them or to get the to make the um, to make the activities as interactive as possible, we have shown them a video and asked them to uh, identify the characteristics of a flash story. So and then they have uh, uh, they have taken part in uh, an activity, as I told you, uh, an interactive one. So uh, then we gave them tips on writing flash stories, uh, tips on techniques and uh, things that may help them writing uh, their flash story, how to use the language and using showing sentences, in fact, were, were some of the tips given to them. Uh, session four was devoted to comic strips. And here we, uh, as usual, introduced them to some comic strips, a sample, and uh, the definition of uh, comic books and this uh, writing genre that uh, they are going to produce later on. And you know that, that uh, this one is uh, interesting as uh, it can be some, uh, it's, it can be artistic rather than writing so it's uh, motivating for them and they enjoyed doing it 
the types of comic strips, so they have uh, practiced an activity and they matched some uh, the definitions with the types and then they try to identify uh, each picture, each uh, uh, book that we show them with the right title and the right definition of this uh, type from the fantasy comic, from the alternative, from the manga. And uh, you know that they are, uh, uh, this is the trend for them. Uh, the characteristics of uh, comic strips, so we have focused on some characteristics, the special size, the volume, the consistent, consistent narrative, and the panels, because as I discovered with them that uh, there is a special technique to uh, order uh, um, regarding ordering the panels. It's not something arbitrary. And the speech bubbles, of course, each bubble, each uh, um, shape has uh, its signification. Um, then through a video, they have been introduced to steps of creating comics which helped them later on to create their own uh, comics. And uh, they uh, been introduced to some, some steps. And here is uh, the picture of Stan Lee. We have uh, chosen this picture because Stan Lee is the creator of uh, uh, Mar Marvel, which is a comic book, very famous one. And they like it, teenagers like it. We reminded them of the theme that they are going to uh, focus on, which is SDGs, by showing them some comics about the SDGs. Here is some samples here. And uh, finally, to, to check their understanding, we have, uh, uh, we have used Kahoot which as you, some of you know, would know, it's uh, very motivating because uh, um, they were looking forward to use it and to compete with uh, between each others. Uh, of course, it was motivating for them. And of course, we told you that it is uh, a competition and each competition we have uh, finally some uh, uh, result to uh, announce and here I uh, I invite Samar to uh, deal with this to with the results I'm sorry <laughs> Mrs yeah. Samar thank you Nohe so, yes yes I'm here okay uh, these are the different groups yes thank you so we had two groups in basic education uh, eighth form and ninth form and two groups in secondary education first and second form so the winners were Yasmin Hamrouni uh, from eighth form uh, Khalil Ali Khalouli from ninth form Firas Musbeh from first form and finally Mohamed Aziz Ben Khoja from second form most of them are uh, here with us today and uh, of course uh, the participants word uh, uh, was compiled in a website. Uh, let, me, let me please uh, take you there, everybody, uh, to discover our um, uh, website, Youth Writing ECAM. So as you can see, uh, this is the website where you can find um, uh, the ECAM. So these are the uh, volunteering fa facilitators. Uh, and then uh, you can see um, work. It's downloading. I think uh, uh, Mrs. Lemay is going to share the link uh, on the uh, Facebook uh, uh, group yeah, for I think colleagues. It's so that's yeah, right. yeah, sure. I'm sorry because <laughs> as you can see, um, the things are loading, but here you can find uh, uh, the work of uh, uh, everybody, I mean uh, all the participants, winners and uh, uh, the other participants, because uh, uh, we had excellent uh, uh, um, outcome from everybody. It was really uh, uh, close, if you'd like, uh, uh, the results. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know if my screen is on. Yes, it is. Is it? 
Yeah, Can you see my you screen? Yes. Oh, it's still oh, looks good. So, uh, yeah, here, as you can see, these are some snapshots from the ceremony. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, participants uh, uh, present here today with us are going to uh, tell you a little bit uh, about uh, um, our uh, writing camp. So we're going to start with Yasmin. I don't know. Uh, hello. Is, uh, is here? Yes, I'm oh, here. Hi, Yasmin. How are you? Wow. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. Good, Yasmin. So could you tell? Good, Yasmin. Could you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the writing ecamp? How did you feel about it? Did you like it? Uh, uh, yes or no? Why? Yes. Okay. Okay, go. Okay, go ahead. First of all, thank you for having me. Uh, and I'm proud to say that we did it. I really enjoyed the ecamp course and competition. It was great. Yeah. First, to thank Mrs. Lama for the organization of this event. My gratitude also goes to my teachers who worked with us in the team's meeting, Mrs. Hannah and Mrs. Samar. It was uh, excellent. The teachers were super friendly, nice, and supportive. I enjoyed interacting with them. Uh, the course allowed me to extend my knowledge. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. yes. Uh, the course allowed me to extend my knowledge about the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs. Um, I also learned how to make anima animation in a story, the rules of writing a story, and those of writing an acrostic poem. Um, we were taught how to use Storyboard That, the free story creator. I used it to create my own story and my own illustrations. Please allow me to share it with you. Thank you. Yes. Yes, good. So as you can see, I'm sharing uh, uh, at the same time, I'm sharing the um, uh, sway of uh, uh, Yasmin. So this is her sway. And as I told you, she was uh, uh, the winner. Summer, we cannot see it's it. It's not on? No, it's not. No. Okay, I'm going you to try to share. Just I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Yeah, that's important to show you if how. It is, is it okay on now? <laughs> Nothing yet. And not yet because uh, you have opened so many windows, so it will take much time to load. Mm -hmm. Asama, so maybe you should let uh, Nohe share her screen. Okay, okay, go ahead, Nohe. Uh, do you want me to share my screen of the storyboard that? Amazing, yes, you mean. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Why not? Okay, no, why not? Share yes. her screen. Let her do that. Yes. Yeah. 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 Yes, okay, okay. Samar, is that you are so proud of you. I want minute, I will um, load it. Okay. Samar, is that your screen? Okay, it's not now, it's off. Nothing is played actually. Is it yeah. on now? I tried one more time. No. No. Not yet. Maybe a swim was trying, so. 
Okay, I'm going to try. Ah, that's it. Yes, Ms. Noha, yes, please do. Go ahead. So, who is sharing uh, uh, Mr. Kamela? Uh, uh, Mr. Kamela. So, that's Yasmin, okay, I guess. Okay, that's now. great. Yasmin so is sharing her screen now. Yeah. Okay. okay, good. Great. Well done, Yasmin. Yeah, Yasmin? Yes. Uh, can we see my screen now? Yes. 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 We do. Oh. Uh, do I read? Ah, uh, you're welcome. And thank you too. Um, okay. Go ahead. Read. Yes, mean. Read for a uh, uh, comic. It looks very sick, Mom. How can we save it? Uh, Ocean Life's Matter. It looks very sick, Mom. How can we save it? Oh, poor thing. It is barely breathing. I will call the vet. Maybe he can help it. Dr. Mark, you can. Uh, we hope you can help it. It has a plastic straw in its nose. I have to remove it immediately. A plastic straw? Will it survive, Dr.? Hopefully it will be all right. Tomorrow I will call the Sea World Organization and they will take it back to the sea. Mom, how how did the stroke get, go into the poor turtle's nose? It's all because of us. Us, what did we do? I mean, us humans. Tons of trash go into the oceans and seas every year. And these poor creatures are the first victims. Scientists are now working on SDG. Sustainable Development Goals, SDG. Friends, yesterday I saw a dreadful scent of a dying sea turtle. I'm creating this WhatsApp group to share this story with you. I hope you invite your friends, share stories about SDG, and contribute to the betterment of the global society. Yeah, very good, Yasmin. Excellent. Thank you. We are and so proud that. of you. <laughs> Thank you. Just want to Thank you very much, Yasmin. So uh, we are going to move on to uh, uh, the next participant. I Thank you. Are you are most welcome. So uh, okay, are you I don't know if my share? screen is on. Is my screen mm. on? No, not yet. It's not yet. Yet. Khalil, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you, Ms. Samar. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes I do. Uh, how are you, Hi, Khalil? Khalil? Fine, fine, thank you. Good. Great. Khalil, can you share uh, uh, also uh, uh, your experience uh, in uh, the writing camp with our uh, uh, participants today? Yes, of course. So uh, uh, actually, it was an incredible experience. Uh, I really had so much fun attending the online lessons. Uh, and especially, especially, uh, I had so much fun uh, playing the Kahoot games. Like it was insane competing with each other and uh, etc. Uh, and like, uh, uh, I want to thank you, Mrs. Samar and Mrs. Olfa for their unbelievable uh, efforts. They were uh, absolutely supportive and whenever I needed their help, they always replied so quickly. So thank you so much, Mrs. Samar. Uh, I also... I also really enjoyed this experience and uh, really enjoyed um, the camp because it uh, like made me uh, learn so many things. Like, and uh, the main goal actually was uh, introducing the 17 sustainable goals of the United Nations and inspiring us to write, to search for innovative uh, solutions and to be uh, um, of the firm belief that we uh, we can be uh, change makers through writing and that uh, writing uh, is a solution to the problems that we are facing uh, nowadays. So, uh, as you know, like many teenagers don't believe like in the power uh, of writing and uh, don't believe that writing can be a solution. But this like competition really showed us that uh, we can change and that uh, we can uh, uh, 
build a better world like by by writing. Thank you, Khalil. Thank you very much. OK, Khalil, now, uh, uh, do you like to share your uh, slam poem uh, today with uh, our uh, participants? Yes, so actually, uh, I uh, I think I'm going to share my screen like Yasmin, if you don't mind. OK, OK, go yeah, ahead, that's go okay. ahead. Yes, so I'm going to share my screen and read the, the flash story instead. Great, good. Okay, Khalil. Uh, yes, uh, I'm tr trying to share my screen. Good. So can you see? Uh, not yet. Not yet. Try again. Okay, Khalil, you can read your story without sharing. We are good listener. <laughs> can you share for him, Mrs. Summer? Uh, I, I have a problem myself <laughs> sharing. Uh, I don't actually, know why. We need, we need permission, I think, to. Uh, yeah, I, I think we need permission yeah. to, to share because I, okay. I couldn't myself. He doesn't <coughs> need uh, any permission to share uh, his poem. So just go ahead and share. Yeah. Uh, and the share screen. your poem. No, she means she means sharing the screen. Now we can see it, right? Summer. Can you see yeah, it now, Ms. Or yeah. I think it's yeah. not yet. Can you see it now? It was there and then it, it was there, then it disappeared. Yeah. Yeah, it just yeah, great. Yeah. Uh, yeah, great. You can see it now. Yeah, that was oh. green. Is it there? Uh, Khalil, try again. You can see the screen. Yeah, it was there, then now, it disappeared. Or... Yeah, it was, it was there, but there, man. it disappeared. But unfortunately, okay, so... it disappeared. Yeah, I think yeah, I'm going... Great. We can see it now. We can uh, see it can now, see it? but I think it's from uh, Summer. Yes, yes, ah, you can summer. see okay. it. Uh, all yes, right, summer good, screen. good, good, good. So, this is this, but would you please... Uh, as you can see. So, this is yeah, the this flash is story. Summer? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. Stay on play, so This summer. is the Stay flash play, story right? of Khalid. Go ahead. Yes, yeah, way. Yeah, it's a sway. Yes, so I start. Yeah, yes, ahead. please. So the title is No Water, No Life. Uh, it's the sensations that let you know you're dying. Your skin feels like it's been stabbed by a million sun spears and scraped by sandpaper. Your tongue is cloven to the roof of your mouth. Your throat itself has the sensation that your articulated python is trying to squeeze the life out of it. What am I? What am I feeling? I glanced to figure out what I was. I found myself in a huge dry desert. I ran to search for a source of water. Any water I could drink to survive, but every step felt like a marathon. Every second a day. All I wanted was to quench my thirst. There was nothing mouth-watering as there was. There was no water to be drunk. I was sick of the stumbling and the staggering, the tottering and the trembling. I was sick of the cracked lips and the kidney skewering pain of dehydration. But where was water? Was it gone? While I was complaining about my dolorous situation, I heard a strange voice screaming loudly. This is how billions of people, mostly in rural areas, live without water. This is the pain they feel daily. Their tongues are swollen from the dearth of water. Did you think about them? Don't humans need to put hand in hand to ensure access to water and sanitation for everyone? Who was talking? Was it a ghost? I was too curious to know, but I woke up surprisingly at mom's loud voice. Time to get up. Oh, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Excellent. Yeah, so. 
That was this is the comic uh, strips of uh, um, Khalil, who was the winner in his, uh, of course, uh, group. Age category, yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Khalil. Now let, let's move on to the uh, next participant, Firas. Firas, move Yeah, on. hi, do you hear me? Yes, I'm here. Do you hi. hear me? Yes. Hello, how are you? Fine, yeah, how are so you doing? I'm, yeah, I'm pretty good. But, so first of all, I want to I want to thank all the teachers, especially Mrs. Rahim, Mrs. Nuha, Mrs. Lama, and all the people who people who uh, participated in organizing such wonderful experience. So uh, I'm talking about the weekend that we did last year. So it was really a wonderful experience, especially in the lockdown, you know, coronavirus pandemic and so on. So it was really wonderful. Uh, you know, we learned, uh, I really enjoyed the atmosphere. I really enjoyed how we discussed some interesting topics how we share Shiraz. Okay, so oh, here we can see how we Especially as Khalil said, I enjoyed playing the Kahoot games. It was really really amazing. Shiraz. Yeah, Firas. Firas. Hi. Is there? Firas has a problem. Yeah, has a network problem. So, can you share his video where is a uh, where oh, the slum video? Can you share it or I can okay. share myself? Okay. 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 Would you please? Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. Firas, are you back? Firas? He's yeah. got internet. I, I think he's facing yeah. internet connection problems, I think. Okay. Yes. So, uh, are you ready to... Yeah. Okay. Okay, can you play it? Can you hear? No. No, okay. So it's lockdown, so it's normally that it's normal that uh, we do not have a network, a good network, because I think all of us are using internet. Yeah, so many people can you see my screen? are using internet, yeah. Yes, we do. Yeah. We can see it, but we cannot. Uh... Oh, can can he is in just the mark. Yeah. Can Firas yeah, be no, okay. man made and can be removed by the actions of the human beings, by our doings, workings, drawings, writings, songs, offerings, and also feelings? For me, if I were a millionaire, I would try my best to make people aware, aware of the existence of poor children everywhere, aware of the existence of people with no health care, nothing to wear, no psychological care. Isn't this unfair? Isn't this unfair? I swear, if a millionaire would guarantee an appropriate education for a number of children, because education is a weapon to fight poverty, not just to escape it. If I were a millionaire, I would try my best to end poverty everywhere. I swear. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Piraz. Great. Yes, I hope he will be a millionaire okay. one day to achieve all this. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I'm here. I don't know what you mean. He's already a millionaire okay. with his talent. Yes, <laughs> yes. definitely. Amazing. Definitely. Yes, Good. you have something to add, Firas? No, you just, I, I want to just add this. Yeah. 
or I want to thank you. I want to thank the people who have participated in that enriching experience. So thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Firas. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yes, go ahead. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to call our last participant, the winner of the category of second form. Muhammad Aziz Bilkuja, are you here? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh, hi, hi, Aziz. Hi. 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 Hello, How everyone. are you? I'm fine, thank Good. you. I hope, hope okay. everyone here is fine. Could you please tell us fine. about your experience? Yes. Yeah, sure. First of all, I'm, I... I welcome all of the teachers and inspectors present here today. And I mm -hmm. thank them for their dedication. And now I will talk about my experience. So Good. actually this uh, right, uh, writing e-camp experience, a uh, friend sent it to me and told me, I think uh, you could do something great in it. And I said, and uh, first I hesitated, then I said, so well, why not? I should try. So I uh, joined, and uh, a few days later, we 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 we, uh, we started the sessions, and it was great. The work with the teacher was amazing. They were so help so helpful from Mrs. Lemme, Mrs. Nuhe, Mrs. Reem, all of them. Uh, I liked how they were helpful with us. They interacted. Uh, all the time with us. If we had any question, they were here for us. And I also liked how how the in interaction uh, between the students and the teacher was something very great. Not the type of interaction that we used to have in schools, which was uh, that is uh, usually built on fear, uh, sadly, or uh, sometimes even hate. So. In, in this camp, we learned a lot about uh, important topics in the world. We also learned a lot about the tools of writing that I still use until today, like uh, World Counter, like Family, like Hood. Like these are all of the some tools that we that we learned about during this uh, e camp. So actually, we've learned a lot of stuff. We have also known a lot of great people and a lot of great students who are uh, interested like me in uh, making a good change in the world and yeah it was very inspiring to find people who who have the same voice as you no oh. oh, good good so thank you very much thank you thank you Aziz yeah thank okay you, so uh, have you chosen one. something to to present to us today? Yeah, I think I will go with the slam and the comic. Okay, live or from? Yeah. Uh, okay. The go slam, ahead. So Aziz, you will slide. you will read the slam or uh, I share the video? I think I will read it because it will be better okay. Her, her Great. Due Great. to Good. the prediction problem. Great. Yes. And it's called if I were a millionaire. Mm -hmm. Is it shown yet? Is it a little bit lagging? I can start any time now. Uh, okay, do you want me to share Mr. my Martin, screen? Can you move a bit? No, I think I... this summer can just move uh, forward. As um, the text of Islam is written on this way. Yeah, so that's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. I don't have it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, it's okay. No, no, no it just go there. back. It was there. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Here it's it. the first slide with uh, the STG no poverty on the left. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you, Samar. Okay, Mohammed. Aziz. If I start. Yes, go ahead. Okay. If I were a millionaire, if I will were a millionaire, that would be great. It would be awesome. It would be amazing. Endless dreams that I can achieve. Countless proprie countless properties that I can finally own. And life changing experiences finally finally becoming possible. Hello, paradise. 
But is it is it that paradisical? Haven't I forgotten something? Haven't I forgotten all the suffering, all the deprivation that millions of people are living in? The poverty that's taking lives away, taking chances and hopes to the blue land? I shouldn't be selfish. People are dying, suffering, begging for a hand to take them out of from underneath the ground that is separating us apart. And I am capable of giving it with such a big fortune. Let's end poverty. Let's work on SDGs. So now I want wow. to pass the, the comic, if you don't mind. Okay. Mr. Summer? Yes, yes. The floor is yours, Aziz. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, so this is uh, actually to the people uh, seeing this for the first time. We were told to make a comic talking about the the, will, the common well-being of the society. So I chose a rel relative uh, subject, with, which is COVID-19. And uh, yeah, I elaborated on that. So that's the first uh, part. Uh, during the 2020 lockdown, one teenager was working on one of his scientific invention, inventions. Sorry. Just click on the next one. Mr. Samar. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then he arrived to 2022 and he was asking himself, what happened to the world? Why is that ma man crying? Uh, next picture, please. Uh, Sir, what's wrong? Where is everyone? Everything is gone. We have lost against COVID. It's because no one have respected the health me measures. Next picture, please. Is it? Yeah. Uh, it's my role to save the world. I need to get back in time and world, warn people about this disaster. Listen to me, everyone. Mm -hmm. I have seen the future with my gadget, and it's dark and scary. Millions of life are, lives are lost, and, and society is going to fall if we keep this behavior. We have to be aware and respect every health measure, starting by wear, wearing the mask. Let's save ourselves before it's too late. This kid is right. I agree with him. Now the next slide, which is the, the last one. Last picture, sorry. And it's saying together again against COVID-19, together for, for common well-being. And here we, we can see uh, clearly that people are uh, practicing social distancing and uh, and wearing their masks. Masks. Yes, good. I hope yeah. everyone can like... hear you. Yeah. 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 Thank, Thank you for you. reminding me. Thank you very much. It was thank a pleasure. You. And I thank again all of the teachers and speakers that guided us through this wonderful experience. Most thank welcome. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you Good. So thank you, everyone. Thank, thank you, you for uh, watching us. Camilla and Mrs. Camilla? Yes, 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 I'd like to thank Mrs. Summer and Mrs. Zaha. So thank you for the mighty efforts and the outstanding ideas. Thank you. Uh, I just love having the students with us today. That that must be so motivating for them. Yeah, that, yes. that was amazing tonight. Mm -hmm. yes. that, that's great. Uh, uh, see Camille and uh, Mrs. Camilia. Uh, yes, please. Before, yeah, I need before, to wrap it up maybe because it's yeah, too late. We, <laughs> yeah, before we wrap up this session. Oh, okay, yes. So, uh, let me... Uh, let's let's ask for um, whether Gofran is still with us. We promise it. Uh, uh -huh, yeah, she yeah. will yeah. read um, yeah. her. Uh, I'm not sure her poem by the end of this webinar. So let's. Um, is Gofran still with us? Mrs. Rim, are you here? Yes, Mrs. Rim. Um, still, there is a solution. Maybe Sihbib, she can post it on Facebook. 
Yeah, sure. It's always uh, possible to do that in case she has left. Yeah, of course. Of course, she can do, uh, she can do that. Um, but we wanted to keep our promise. We promised. Yes, sure. Her. Thank you for yeah. that. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So maybe it's time. Well, if I read uh, yeah, uh, Mrs. Arbi. Yeah, go ahead, Mrs. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. If you allow me, if you allow me, I can read um, a short extract of Alfran's work. Yeah, please Just do. Just keep yeah. our promise. Yeah. Thank you. So it's, uh, right, it's, yeah, to hear it's an extract from um, their son by mental illness. So it says, we all have that illness that isn't real, something that you can neither see nor touch, but it's basically real. It's the prison that locked me inside. I can't help but think of my dreams that died. It hurts to say and to admit that I'm not okay. Mental illness is a big deal. It's a hidden disease ruining so many lives. Please wake up and listen to the silent cries, the child who never speaks, this girl who's always tired, or the girl who cries so much. Yet, still sometimes you have to fall on your face to get that taste of failure, pain, confusion, fear, and disappointment. Yet eventually you will learn not to fear it, as far as you believe in the absolute and weird way of life. When it changes, you will look forward to a future bathed in hope. So, Very end nice. on a positive uh, note, as we say. <laughs> thank yeah, you. Thank you. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, great. That's really uh, uh, you uh, have a good applause from Okay. <laughs> thank, yeah. you. Uh, thank, thank you. Broken thanks to all the speakers. Many, many, many thanks. You. Many thanks. Yeah, yeah. Thank you all. Thank you very much, yeah. Mrs. Rhee, Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. Asma. Mrs. Nohe, Mrs. Uh, Samar, and Mrs. Dorra, and all the students that were and present with the us. They were really yeah. very talented. They inspired us. Thank you to all the attendees. Thank you very much. To, uh, I forgot to thank Mrs. Ahu and Liz um, who collaborated with us on uh, the eCamp project. Many thanks to her and many thanks to, to my colleagues in the jury. Uh, at, in the U Innovate Steering Commission, I hope that uh, uh, the attendees uh, enjoy today's webinar and that they're going to um, join us for the coming one. Uh, Mrs. Yes. Camille, if you tell them about that. Yes, so that will be um, this Saturday, so in two days, okay. You can see the screen now, I mean, there, okay. We will share the post on Facebook tonight, okay. And the link um, will be shared on Saturday. Okay, so welcome uh, everyone. Yeah, the, the, link, the link webinar. The link will be the link will be shared maybe um, right from tomorrow, I think. Uh, but be, uh, but before that, Mrs. Zorgadi, can you share yes. the uh, link to the quiz? Um. All right. Okay. So I need uh, yeah. to share for a while, or somebody else does I'll do that. that. I'll okay. do that. Did you? Okay. Good. I'll do that, Mrs. Camilia. Okay. Yeah, can you, so Mrs. Mrs. Zorgati, can in the you group, remind okay. the attendees, Mrs. Zorgati, can you yes, remind please? the attendees that the uh, that they need to? Um, yes, please do. Yeah, you just do it. Okay, so they need to answer the quiz to get the certificate, yeah. right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, thank so you. that's it. Thank okay, so time. please click on the link. The link to the quiz will be shared in the group later on. So in, in a while, you can just click answer the questions and so that you can receive your certificate, your attendance certificate, right? Thank you very much. I am really impressed well, by the great much, efforts everybody. that and, uh, I have presented nice today. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Congratulations, colleagues. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.